creativity, but uh, this is really going to test him here. He also has impeccable shot selection. He chooses the shot that offers the best opportunity. He's kind of slightly elevating, so he's going to bounce over the four ball with left-hand English, Jay. You wow. see the action wow. on the cue ball? Talk about mass. You see how easy he made that look? <laughs> and he keeps talking to himself in the crowd. Oh, He's wow. Cute. Wow, and that shot could really send him over the edge. His hand yeah. in yeah. concession. Yes, again, you conceded it. Yeah. Yeah. The match yeah. is over. Shaw doesn't need. Shiny, but he has this ability. 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 No, no, you're kidding. You're kidding. I said the only thing that could prevent the Canadians winning was the onset of pressure. Mora wouldn't miss that in a month of Sundays. Impossible. In fact, right on it. Come on, Wang. One more shot. I'm not surprised. I am not surprised. The burden was indescribable. Unbelievable. Feels. Come on, knock it in. We're all with you. Oh, just couldn't, couldn't keep still enough. Horrible to see. It's like watching a golfer who's got the yips. Ah, Xiaomi, 有点意外哦，哎，这个球，这个球，哦，这个球，啊，失误的有点意外了，有点离谱啊，哎，右下角底，但是加盖了嘛，再抢八，James flirting with the side pocket here. Van Boning in shock. Did that pocket spit the ball out or did he just miss it? It jawed out. Can we see that shot again? Oh, oh he missed it.
Shane's looking at. Extension cold. Shooting at it. See how he's trying to go a little bit low on the cue ball. He's going to hit the nine. Oh! Three ball combination. How about that? How about that? This is triple tough. Oh, no, he played safe all the way. He played safe all the way. Looks like it's going to be a good one. What he really wanted to do there was stick that cue ball down by the corner pocket, and he did it. He's got plenty of time. He's taken his extension. Just got to nip this cue ball. What a shot from Van Bonen when he needed it. A great jump shot there. The one ball went right into the heart of the pocket. The American side is showing a lot of appreciation for that one. They know how big this is. Take a look. Tough shot for Mr. Van Boning. He got the two, got the one as well. Didn't intend that. Well, Ooh. that's not the worst thing that could have happened, Jerry. Yeah. A lot happened with this shot. He got the intended two, made the one in the corner as well, but where the nine finished, it gives him a chance at a three, nine, six combination. Again, a lot happening here. And the nine he made the it in. Hello, Shane Van Boning. Come on down. So excited to kick it over the Astros. Brilliant shot. Played it. That was deliberate. Yeah. Try to shoot it, man. He, you know what? He feels like he can't do anything wrong shooting this shot. If he makes this, they should howl. This is great. Nah. But maybe, he maybe, did. but maybe, just <laughs> maybe he can do it.
，首先，首先的这个这个四号做五号就让我们感觉到不大对劲，还好打进哦，<笑>哎呦啊，有没有掉球嘞？死水蓝，眼睛里面露出了希望。剁干，哇，这小心会被吸底带的。剁干，哎呦，打进，<笑>这个是打得让人心惊胆跳。<笑>又开始念念有词了。Efren getting a legal shot here. Well, there's a tiny gap here between the seven and the rail. We could find a way to get in there. Yeah, that's a, that's a hard gap to get to. Yeah. How about catch, hitting the point, <laughs> taking your chances? <laughs> you know what? He might be doing that. I, I think he made the right call. Got it. Oh, wow. <laughs> legal shot. You called it, B-boy, and Efren executed it. Miss your little button. Thanks, Jerry. <laughs> Can you hear us now? <laughs> what a day. Okay, we're starting again. <laughs> Thanks for letting us know. If you guys have um, feedback on our stream, like you can't hear us or you can't see us, um, let us know because we think that we're talking. Yeah, and we think. So. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, let's start again. Go ahead, Randy. Introduce anyway, the stream. <laughs> uh, I am Randy Knight. Um, these guys are playing a race 25, no three foul rule, uh, wild nine, rack your own. The nine does not count in the bottom two pockets. Yeah, we got a stream here between Eric McMinn and Robert Bonacon. And they are coming out from Loganville and Mr. Q's and Mystery Plates. Uh, Robert did not put a home bar, so he is a road player for sure. Decent table here. Now we can go one rail and take a combo like that. This shot's all about controlling the three. Make sure you don't get in the bad spot on the three. That four looks kind of hidden in the corner there. Okay. 
Ooh. Ooh. Didn't think that was gonna happen. Yeah, I mean, there there was two ways you could have done that. You didn't pick a bad way. If you just went with what he was comfortable with and tried talking to Kyle. Yeah, man. So. It was a good hit. Yeah. I'm not really quite. I am just a child pool player. I'm like a two. So <laughs> I might say things and you're like, what the heck? Oh, Macy, that's not what you do. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I don't know what I'm doing 90% of the time. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. There you go. Good shot. Oh, very no. nice. Very nice. That's pretty, that's pretty yeah. close there. Yeah, we got a one rail kick here, which everybody wants to go. He's going to the long rail. Oh, would you have maybe gone on that short rail? The only thing that would have made me go to the short rail was the chances of getting safe. Hmm, interesting. But, yeah, I, that's something I've worked on with myself, just not necessarily going for the hit, the right hit. You know, you always want to want to kick with a plan. You know? Kick with a plan. Yeah. Kick an ass with a plan. What up? <laughs> Kidding. Now, whether it works or not is two different things. But, <laughs> you know, I think you might go two rails here and five. Man, that's a... Did you ever play basketball? No. <laughs> no. I'm trying to think. There, There is a name for it, like a ringer or something that the ball would go around and around and around. And you'd be like waiting and watching. Is it going to go in? Yeah, I'm about as good at basketball as I am at underwater basketball. So. Man, you must be really good then. <laughs> oh, I've yeah, seen your skills. <laughs> <laughs> seen your skills. You want to do that? Sure. There we go. And then that. Is it going long, 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 long? Good shot. Good shot. Wow, nice. That was, uh, looks like everybody's here on YouTube. And uh, maybe everybody's either getting off work or getting ready to go play in a tournament today. Um, we've had some problems with our Facebook for some reason. It's like really skipping. So, I highly encourage you to just check out the YouTube and uh, follow or subscribe to Real Player Productions. That way, either way, you guys can get your pool content. I know we're all addicts here, um, so that you can make sure that you're tuning in for the streams. Okay, so we're allowing jump cues. I'm going to try to jump the octopus ball. Oh. Ooh, that's a pretty far that's a pretty long way to jump too yeah yeah and i mean that's that's just personal preference i mean if you feel better securing the hit with a jump cue i mean by all means if you're allowing Mhm. Mm that's why i got confused for a second i was like but there's no jump cues in the yeah, match that was about live side jump cues yeah he's in a pretty good spot here just follow up with some kill angles I wasn't sure if it was gonna go in that pocket or not. If you can like kind of veer off to the right there. No, that shot you're gonna play a lot of top. You got to get the cue ball forward in that shot. I I often overestimate how hard I need to hit the ball. Yeah. It really surprises me how soft I can hit it and get it just exactly where I need it. Yeah, so so on that particular shot he was playing, you want to use more spin, less speed. Mm. You know, you want to play way off the center of the cue ball and make sure that that ball gets away from the eight. Okay. She played a good shot here. So this isn't bad.
to the bank, which shaped my mind too. Mm -hmm. Very nice. But you know, he, he put him in a situation where he had to be a shot maker. And I, I agree with what he did. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's still early in the set. First one in the books for Robert. Robert goes you want to put in the Let's see. Where's your balance? Ta da. Congratulations, feels, you just did your. feel so empowered. <laughs> I can give anybody points. I'm not used to being in control of this much at one time, you know? <laughs> And they're uh, they're gonna be using a magic wreck. I think. Well, it's wreck your own. So I guess wreck your own. I'm not sure. That, did they discuss whether they were gonna do magic wreck? Um, I, don't I think they did beforehand. We just didn't know that until they went to start. <laughs> mm, true. true. Yes, yeah, so we were sitting here with no sound, talking about all this stuff. We said, "Where's your magic wreck?" Like, <laughs> yeah. Grab this one. One. And bring one hip nipple of the side pocket and mm -hmm. got kicked out. But let's see what we got. Probably gonna roll out. So. Nope. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Ooh, yeah, that middle is gonna spread. Look at this kid. Wow, you're kind of stuck in in the trap. Yeah, that's a great shot. Where's it? They've got headphones on. I was checking. <laughs> Making sure. It feels like you're kind of stuck. You can't go on the one side. Maybe you could go on the short rail. Um, what I like is coming two rails behind the one. If mm. you get a square hit on the one, you could send the one up table and leave the cue ball right behind the nine in that cluster of balls. Just yeah. like that. But he, he came a little short on it. But that was the that was the right idea. That was the right thinking. shot, yeah. Yeah, because you send the cue ball up to the high rail, high, the high long rail from where we're looking, and the cue ball just sticks right there behind it. Oh man, for Robert, Let's see what he does with this too. Play it side, mm. good shot. In nine ball, you always want to plan three balls ahead. You know, he played that ball on the side because of where the three and the four were sitting. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll admit I've actually gotten out of practice for the three balls ahead. I, for some reason, I kind of stopped doing it because I think I was missing a lot. Yeah. And then uh, I just got out of practice. And I guess not until you said it right now. I was like, oh, yeah, duh. <laughs> you gotta be, you gotta plan ahead. Well, I think it's important as a commentator to be, you know, at an advocate of the game. Mm -hmm. You know, like if if you haven't played in a long time or something, you you may not you may not see shots the same way that you once did. Right, you, you just kind of get a little rusty. Yeah, that's all it is. That's a decent angle. I'll probably just stun to the long rail with some spin mm -hmm. on the eight. Looks like he's got it. Hard to tell from the overhead view, but angle he's got. It. I think he's got enough. Yeah, the angles. It, it look like when yeah. you're looking at it, it's a little bit off. That's the angle you want. You want the cue ball to be going away. Oh, oh, interesting. Hmm. I wasn't expecting it. Kane, hey, what's up? Thanks for liking the stream, my dude. He's still okay here. He just has to snatch the ball. Hmm. 
thing. Unless it gets stuck. Not quite. I thought maybe it might kind of get stuck there behind their eye. Yeah. For a quick second. How are we looking on Facebook, everybody? I know we were a little choppy before. Is the Facebook crew? Nice Stop cut. There. Good speed. Two ways you can play on the side of the corner, whatever you prefer. I prefer to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would not. That was a little too too sharp. I know. Uh, I've I... played with some people that would have shot that ball on the side. I don't Ooh. know why. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the first one on the books for Eric. You want to put him a point? Yeah, here we go. Oh, there we go. Like. So much power, so little good. With great power comes great responsibility. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of hard to talk and manage this and look at comments it and is. do this and switch. You know, so. Yeah, by the time these guys hit three balls, I forget that I'm even I know you can, <laughs> sometimes you get like really stuck when you're like, what's gonna happen? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see. Right, I'm on Facebook. Me see the new team. Oh, it's looking pretty good. Earlier, it was, I mean, it would like go but and then and then but and then stop like completely. Right. Like I couldn't watch it at all. Road player liked the stream. Thanks, road player. So great. Golly. What a guy. <laughs> or girl. I'm or girl, kidding. yeah. It's a, uh, who knows? <laughs> who knows? It's a, it's a, it's a concept. I'm doing a lot of finger like yeah. jazz hands today. I'll tell you, I watched Eric hit some balls earlier and he really does break very well. He's got a great break. Mm hmm But I you know, I was watching him too, but it doesn't look like it's effortful. No. It, no it's no, like no. very smooth but like powerful still. Well Oh, I think so. The thing that uh I think about the break is how square you hit balls versus how hard you hit them is irrelevant. Mm -hmm. You know, I think you can break at 12 miles an hour, and if you're hitting them square enough, you'll, you'll get a good break out of them. That's true. And what I noticed about Eric is he seems to break at the speed that he's comfortable with hitting them square. Mm. You know, he doesn't go any harder than that. Interesting. Oh, that's a good thought. Yeah. Pulling more for like the quality of the hit. Yeah, right? it's like, it's more important to hit the ball square than it is to hit them hard. Mm -hmm. And if you can do both, go for it's it. even better. Yeah, go for so, it. Some of us. For anybody that's working on their break, focus on hitting them square. The speed that you feel comfortable with hitting the ball square is the speed you should break with all the time. I do see a lot of people. Like really, like throw their body into yeah. it, and you see like a kick, and then like yeah. their shoe falls off. Yeah, I'm like dang. Well, I mean, the thing is, is on the break, if if you don't know what you're doing with a cue ball, then you're hitting it too hard. You mm. know, in my opinion. So I've heard that getting on a nine ball, that it's good to you know kind of leave your cue ball in the middle. Yeah, that's with any game. You want to oh, leave really? your cue ball on the middle of the table, preferably. Okay. Well, the more you know. Well, it opens up your chances, you know, of getting a shot after the break. And, like, now that I say it out loud, honestly, that feels, like, really obvious. Oh, well, duh. But when I'm down there, like, I didn't think about well, it. Well, you know, that's that's a that's a common, you know, thing that everybody gets down on the break and they want to hit them as hard as they can, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, everybody struggles with that, but at the end of the day... You know, if you don't if you don't have the control of the cue ball after the break, it's hard to really build any consistency, you know. Yeah. Consistent somebody was saying that in the earlier stream, it's like the three C's of pool is like consistency, confidence, control, and control. Yeah. And I was like, shoot. Yeah, it'd be Mr. Jimmy Baswell. I don't know if he's listening here, Mr. but I remember Jimmy. him saying that. <laughs> Yes, I, I will remember that now because I do not have all three of those, that's for sure. 
Got a lot of compliments. Nice. Great cut by Robert. That was great. Oh, Ooh, that was fun. Ooh. It tried to it, that just that just hit the nipple right there. All right, that's two for Robert. Oh yeah, scorekeeper. Scorekeeper. Forgot on the score. Man, we might have to fire this. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <sighs> I'm just playing, I'm just playing. There's, there's a lot going on back here. Ooh, Eric's got a fan out here. Hey, Shonda. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming out. This is a nine ball race to 25, so we've got quite a long ways to go. Hey, Colin, how's it going, buddy? It's the the near scratches or the adrenaline rush that you didn't know that you needed, you know. Right. Instead of having a cup of coffee in the morning, just right. watch a match and yeah. you'll be good to go. <laughs> hey, both of you guys had a great break. Mm -hmm. Really do. They both seem to hit the ball as hard as they can control the cue ball, you know. Family, this okay. Shonda yeah, is Eric's sister. Oh, oh, John's in the house. <laughs> the um, this is one of my favorite things about people coming to play on stream is that they can share their pool game with their family and their friends, or oh, you yeah. know, pool friends from far away. Yeah, that won't normally either go to a bar or to a pool hall, or you know, they're just not near. Yeah, bar. it's so, hard to get friends and family that aren't involved in the game or in pool. The pool. Yeah. Very, very cool. As a recent pool addict, um, it was kind of hard to go to the pool hall for hours and hours and hours oh, yeah. for like a tournament. But John's pretty cool, so I made an exception. All right. Well, Quite get the action you wanted, but looked like he was hoping it might have came out a little bit further. Is that what you were thinking? Yeah, mm. thinking he either want to roll the four in and get to the bottom rail. Back here. Mm. It good. Very nice. It good. Very Take nice. Off. That looked like a pretty tight cut. Let's go to the overhead. Yeah. 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 Mm. Right there. Now he could do one of two things here. If he has the thing, he could do one of two, two ways. Yeah, I kind of thought the nine might be in the way. Mm. Or it could shoot this ball in and go too well to get on the road. We will see. I don't know if the I don't know if the angle is the angle allows him to do that, the speed is the question. Mm. The speed he gets the shot at will Dictate. You can go on the eight here with the center tip though, at the right speed. Mm. Four. You got on the eight. It's not the way that I was expecting you to do it. Yeah, I was expecting you to go a little different than that. I tell you that the one thing about the game that I've tried to incorporate in my own game is using more rolling spin than anything. What you know, do you mean by rolling spin? So I use tangent lines now more than I used to. Mm. 
and I, I like to use the rails and the natural, you know, shape of the cue ball, everything like that. To like from where I was sitting, to me it looked like he could have just sent two rails into the eight. Mm-hmm. But you know, everybody sees the table differently. Yeah, and everybody has a different style. I know me and John were practicing the other day, and he was kind of showing me his style, and he uses a lot of English to really get the ball yeah. where he wants it to go. Yeah. Oh my. And his style is very distinctive. Yeah. If he played that shot the way I would have played it. Oh, Lee. Buddy. He played that exactly the way I would have played it. Just because I'm more comfortable moving the cue ball around the nine, trying to hold it for the nine. That was a good mm -hmm. All right. That's three for Robert. Three for Robert. And we'll take a moment to talk about our sponsors today. We're sponsored by Salado and My Pool Shop. Uh, Salado is an app where you can find players near you to set up a match. And then if you don't have a Fargo rate or if you already have a Fargo rate, it will put your um, your matches and your wins and your world okay. losses into Fargo rate. And it'll help you get a score, change your score and all that. Um, so that's a lotto, and we are currently using it for this match, and we use it for our last match. Um, if you come play on stream, that is an option, and you get a ton of games. Like, if you think about it, you're doing a race of 25, you, I mean, you can get nearly 50 games oh, yeah. um, in just a few hours. So. Yeah, your options are limitless. Yeah. So check out Solato. It also helps you find players near you. So if you travel a little bit and you're just looking for somebody that might be able to skill level, um, that's a really good oh darn oh, it's, great. it's a great way to find new players and if you guys need any help um, we are Salado people um, and we can help you get get you set up with that well that's all this is what Eric needed here build him up some momentum that's the thing about nine ball especially in these long races it's, it's a big momentum swing mm-hmm and you gotta you gotta really get your opponent too, because once they pick up, they take off. Yes, very much so. The person who builds up momentum the quickest will normally put a pretty decent lead on somebody. And I think what he's gonna try to do is just roll the three in and play the four in the opposite hand. Oh, oh just he had the right idea. Didn't quite go. Yeah, because the four didn't pass the eight. Alright, everybody, we've got a poll up on YouTube. We're not doing one on Facebook. We don't have enough hands today to manage stream. But if you're on YouTube, go ahead and answer that poll. We'll do some other fun ones here in a minute. Just kind of play. We run into the eight here. Oh, we missed you. Oh no! I think that's what he tried to do. Split the three and run into the eight. Mm -hmm. I don't think there was really any way to get on the four. I don't. I don't know if he could have spun it from where he was sitting or not to play the four in the opposite corner. I don't think so. Yeah. The air is gonna just roll one rail to four. So, be on, on this one. I mean, to be on the opposite side of the floor to where you can just make it and roll into the five shot. Oh, um, be more. Yeah, you want it to be close to the other pocket. The oh, okay. See, now he's got to contend with the eight. He may even play sleep here. Yep, that's exactly what he's doing. It's not bad. He left it off. A little more speed. He might could have got him with the seven. To kind of hide behind it yeah. a little. Put the seven between the four. That particular shot, you want to play the four. You're not really playing the cue ball. You're playing the four. So he's going to That's a great shot by Robert. Yeah. I don't know if he left the four on the slide. But I like your view. Mm 
I just realized I'm the only person here without a beard. Everybody else is <laughs> wise. <laughs> I think from here you just make a four and go one rail. If he's got the angle to do that, I don't think he does. Yeah. Yeah, one rail mm -hmm. and five. Yeah. I noticed that he gets the cue ball exactly where it looks like it, he wants it to go. Yeah. But when he hits it, it feels like wild. But it gets exactly where he wants it to go. Right. Well, he's using spin. He's using mm -hmm. the spin to get the ball. Like really, really using this. Yeah. Oh, okay. See, and that, that's the part that I, I was saying earlier about the three balls ahead. You know, it's not just about getting shape on the next ball. It's about getting the right shape on the mm -hmm. next ball that gets you to the ball after that. Mm -hmm. You know? Dominoes. See, like in this per particular situation, you got to know where you want to be on the nine when you shoot the seven, you know. And that will dictate where you want to be on the eight. He go in the corner. Mm -hmm. So now he can just stun out. He can just stun out, play the nine in the same pocket. Mm -hmm. Or if he's straight in, he can stop it and shoot the nine on the side. Yeah, looking at the table, he looks a little straighter than. I think he can stun it. Oh, he can get a power stroke. Well, I mean, if you're confident enough to do what he just did, do it. <laughs> you know, that's your one C confidence. Confidence, exactly. and then he had control. Yeah, when you can get confidence, man. I forgot. I forgot already. Oh, we'll have to go back and look. Good thing remembering is not on there. Yeah. All right, that's four for Robert. Four for Robert. Four for Robert is rack your own race of twenty five. Who's out here on chats? Who's out there um, at Legends? And we've got Legends and Mr. Q's. Anybody out here watching? Say hey. Say welcome to John. Welcome back, John. Hi. He's over here sitting on the couch. All right. Robert's got some momentum. Using the side rail break. I've heard that on a nine foot, it's best to break from the side for a nine ball, um, but from a seven foot, it's better to actually break closer to the middle. Well, it depends. Okay. <laughs> Conditions dictate a lot of that. No. Oh. If you've been on a table where the, the wing ball is going pretty consistently, uh, me personally, I prefer more to the middle of the table. Just because getting the one where you want it is a little easier. Mm. But if you're struggling to make a ball, uh, I prefer the side rail. Okay. You get more action from the wing and the back two balls to me. So. Jerry, I see you. <laughs> he says he's the legend guy, old as dirt. You know, I've heard about you before. Just kidding. <laughs> You want to switch it? Yeah. I'm on. So eight. Uh, four. Four. And then. Oh, nice. That's a good shot, then. Oh, that ball. Way it is. I think you can roll this in and get a four. And kind of pop it. Got a little thin on it. He may have yelled here. He yelled here to say, Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's oh, nice. Oh, no. Looks like he might be lined up for the, uh, the nine. Being right or not, I at least in the camp out. We didn't need a shot. They're not doing call now, are they? Huh? It's, it's, they're not doing call now. No, it's okay. running now. Now he could play a 
an aggressive nine or an aggressive save. Let's see what it does. That's the fear of playing the nine is you're focused you're so focused on making the nine that you don't really think about anything other than making the nine, which you shouldn't do anyway. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna go with the nine, go with the nine. Go all yeah. the way. Yeah. Jerry, me and you have talked before, or you and Randy talked before? Who's that? Jerry. Jerry. Mr. Jimmy's back. <laughs> and he's talking to he me. He said, oh my God, they let Randy stay. Yeah, surprisingly. Yes, he lives here now. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said, as long as I'm here, I might as well stay. AKA, as well. I don't want to drive through Atlanta traffic. No, no just stay I'd, rather, more hours. I'd rather stay here and watch pool till 10 o'clock. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty fairly easy run out and roll up and move on. I don't think we've ever done a double header. We've done very long streams, but we never is done this a double. First one? Yes, it's yeah. a first double header. Great shot. Great very shot. nice. Very nice. All right. Nope. Oops. Four two. Ooh, we got it. Four two. Four two. What's up, John? You got something to say? Got something to say? Something. I haven't seen him all week. He's been traveling, having big, big adventures in Tennessee, Missouri. He went to New Orleans last night. This man just parties everywhere. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> and he played, did you play pool last night? He played pool last night. He called me, he said, I might find a pool table. I'm like, yeah, you're going to find one real quick. I know that. That's how he gets for free, he says. <laughs> Jimmy said, I'll just sit here and watch the stream and crochet last week we learned that jim crochets and i love to crochet and they were kind of making fun of me like because i have this idea i have this idea of if you have a pole ball and you have a little crochet corner then all the ladies will come and jim will do the crochet and like enjoy and then all the dudes will play pool and then you know it gets yeah. your lady out there to the pool oh, yeah. and like you get to crochet so it's like super fun there you go uh, Kane's asking why is one using rack and the other using the template. Oh, I don't know. So they're doing rack at home, and they didn't mention anything about only no, they didn't. rack. Maybe um, it's just a preference. I don't know. Yeah. I know last time Robert came, I think they agreed to magic rack. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, the five is impeding them on that shot a little bit. But it looks yeah, like it's a good roll. You know, this is the shot I was explaining earlier. Um, I like coming two rails behind this ball. It gives you a gives you a good chance of getting safe. Once you can see it, yeah, it's a, Just I couldn't tell if you could see it or not. You know, in Orlando, only two. I hope both players play well, and so far they're playing really well. They've got a really nice, smooth, calm demeanor. Like, yeah, they're I, feeling I pretty like, good. I like both of their tempos. You know, they they don't rush, but they play with their own tempo. Mm hmm Looks like he might be going for that. Might be. When it's that close to me, it seems like it might be a little easier. Well. Mm hmm. Sometimes you can't quite see the angle. Look at this. They're playing ball nothing. Oh, wow. Good shot. Probably do that, but if he did, it's a great shot. <laughs> that brings it up three to four. Four. I don't know. Was he trying to do that? Uh, Would it work? It worked. It worked. No one will ever really know except for him. <laughs> if only we could know. If you guys are on Facebook, there's a lot more people on YouTube who want to come join the party, have some fun. Um, and lots more people on YouTube, but you know, of course, stay where you want to stay. Uh, we're here to, you know, have a good time and talk. And so, y'all here, say hey. We're having a good time. 
and we're happy to answer any questions and have some fun. Uh -huh. All right. Oh, that's so sweet. Jerry, I'm going to tell him that here when we take a break. Frost online, who are you, sir? Or ma'am? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, Chris. Uh, Chris is asking, what's the race to? It's a race to 25 tonight. Straight nine ball, race to 25. And we've got a no three foul rule, wild nine. Um, the nine ball doesn't count in the two rackings corners. Bottom, bottom two. Corners. Bottom two. Yeah. And let's rack your own. That's what we're working with today. Put that one rail out to the two. Just like so. It went a little long on him. You may go into the three here. Yeah. Eric could do one or two things here. Could shoot the two, try not to put the three in the side or the corner. Looks like you I like that shot corner. because it, it's easier to control that playing to the corner, and he's got the right angle. The only thing that's impeding him on the shot is the eight. She handled that very well. It did not look like it impeded at all. <laughs> yeah, it's like, look like it. Go. It's gonna go over this. See, and now he's in a spot he can just stun out. Or, oh, I see he hit it a little thick. He was trying to stun out to the five. Mm -hmm. It looked like it just stopped right there. It did, and, yeah. and that's because of the thick hit. Okay. He, he hit it thicker than he wanted to. Dang. If he hit it thin enough to make the ball, cue ball would be more towards the middle of the table. Not nice. And play the five all the way up. He's yeah. going across for the six. I think he's getting his groove a little bit. You hear him humming. Yeah, he's he's starting to feel it a little bit now. Getting the pool tingles. Maybe hang up. Ah. Maybe we jinx it. Oops. Uh, that was me. That was me. I jinxed it. <laughs> Orlando, if you're out there, where are you? Um, where do you play out of? I think. I think I might have asked last time, but I forgot. Do you know him? Orlando? Mm-hmm. Why did I don't say that I do? What? Oh, I just learned your code name. Yes, okay. I know you. Never mind. <laughs> you play a little bottom left on this. Don't out. Oh. Oh my gosh, Orlando, I'm so sorry. I remember, I didn't recognize your official name. <laughs> John just told me he came, he came and played with Thomas on screen. And oh, that, wow. and that must have been like a year and a half ago. It feels like a long time ago. This is an interesting thought, thought here. Um, he may elect to go around the eight. Now he killed it. It was a good shot. His cue sounds a little bit like he's miscued. Well, he played a lot of spin on that. It's just a it lot of spin. almost sounded like a miscue, and it may have been a little bit. Okay. You can just make two records. Yeah, you can go, well. I wasn't expecting that, but it's all right. I, I almost thought he would go around the nine just because of where the nine was. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, okay. granted, he hit the nine and got a roll out of it, but some bad things could have happened going into the nine. Yeah. That's the only reason I was thinking he might have gone around the nine was to avoid hitting it. So that brings us to da -da -da. five three. Five three. Robert's still on the lead. Jimmy sent me, I know, do you crochet? You probably don't crochet. No. Do you want to start? Uh, okay. I'm okay. All right. Well, <laughs> me and Jimmy are going to have a phone. He sent me a video earlier today or yesterday about, you know, yeah, we've got the score. Um, 
giant, giant crochet. Like, usually stitches are, like, very small. This was, like, inches wide. And it was a huge blanket. It looked really cozy and cuddly. Yeah. My mom has done some crocheting. So it runs in the family, maybe? Uh, no? Not so much. <laughs> Does pool run in the family? Um, actually, uh, my dad played a lot when he was younger. Mm -hmm. Um, but as far as running in the family, not not so much. <laughs> uh, Kim is asking who's commentating tonight. I'm Randy Knight. Hi, Randy, and I'm Nisi. I'm on here every once in a while. John's sitting over here. He's usually the one commentating. I'm the long-haired redneck. <laughs> I'm the long-haired redhead. There you go. What's up? There you go. <laughs> Long haired reds. That's gonna be our commentator team. Yeah. Long haired reds. Shout out to your mama. That's my mother. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, he was trying to get good on the four. He got good he on the did. four. He did. Okay, let's switch it up a little bit. Yeah. Play the three on the side. Mm -hmm. and go one there on the five. Mm -hmm. Went a little far on him. You got a little straighter than you would have liked. Then he said, come on, Randy, you know you want to make a sweater. <laughs> <laughs> I will be, I will totally second that. Wait. The hand just came. We're talking a little quiet. Okay, quiet. To the pool ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, there's several different things you can do here. I don't know who grabbed it. Is he going for the knife? Oh no. Darn it. Yeah, that, that oh, was man. a hard spot to be in. That was, that was quite a strain. Like, he was laid out across the whole table, yeah. too. <laughs> I think in that particular situation, the carol might have been the better option if you feel good enough to do it. Only reason being is you have a better chance of leaving something difficult. Mm. With the yeah. the yeah. combo, a lot of times in that situation will sell out. You know, you'll you'll leave something hanging, or just like you did. But it just depends on how you feel about it. Honestly, for me, oh yeah. Honestly, for me, I get nervous about the caramels. Yeah. I don't know why. I feel much more confident with a combo. Yeah, I mean. Unless they're really close together and I can just right. kind of right right off each other. Uh, I don't like combos in general. You're not a combo man? No, I don't like McDonald's don't like you. Then, uh, you? No, they don't. <laughs> Bow on the table. <laughs> It sounds like a, I don't know, that sounds funny, like, die on the table. <laughs> I wish that would have been perfectly timed. Die on the table. Yep. Yeah. Got a shot at the one. Do we have um, Kristen on stream or maybe Madeline on stream? If you're here, say hi, because we've got some special shout out for you guys. I know you can see enough of the ball to make it to the side. Um, two? Yeah. Um, looks like we've got some. Yeah. 
Could you imagine if that one wouldn't have been That would have been crazy. Oh. That would have been crazy. If he's straight in, I think what you'll see him do here is a lot of draw. The power stroke here. Yeah. That's a tough ball. To this get on. bottom corner has been a little bit of a problem, it seems like. Just barely kind of off on like it. The first match was kind of that way, too. A little bit. Jerry's asking if there's a way we could add streams on Sunday afternoon. Um, Jerry, I'll be honest, uh, me and John do family dinners on Sunday nights, so we probably won't do that a live stream. Um, but something that we might be able to do is like restream something that we've already done. So we could replay this live on Sunday afternoon so that you guys can kind of be a part of it. Um, uh -huh. I don't know if Robert was playing that, but that was a heck of a shot if he was. Thank you. I missed it. My bad. Yeah, that was a great save. Oh, man. You got to stop me. I, I'll just talk. And talk and <laughs> no, talk you're and good. Like, especially crochet, man. You can start it. I won't stop. Got a one to go pick. Good hit. Solid hit. Is it? Is it? Oh, that's a good shot. That's come off. I don't know if you can Make get a good yeah. And if you don't, you can stop the blue ball. Probably the three in the upper right corner. Did you ever go for the nine in the Um. I kind of came back. Yeah, different ones. <laughs> oh, was he trying to put it into that other? Oh, I think he was trying to play one rail and control the cue ball at the same time. Oh, okay. And okay. you've got a shot here. You can go one rail underneath or above the six, whichever he prefers. You go above it or mm -hmm. hit it. See, mm -hmm. that's okay too. Come on, one rail out. See. No. Wow. Oh. Build the key It's a good shot. Man. Now you, you can roll in the four. Like a five or six. On the six and determine where the seven goes. Um, I a little bit. I didn't want to be a little trade with that. Yeah, it's going to be kind of a tough one because that ball's going to bounce off, make it a little tougher. You got to finish this ball. You got to cinch it and play two rails across. Go down, cue ball. I don't know if you got there or not. Looks like you did. Uh, he was on the. I was like looking at the seven. I was like, "Wow, why is he lining up like that?" And then he missed it. Like, "Oh no!" Oh, he's on the six. Well, I'm starting to get used to these colors. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. It takes some getting used to. It does. Everybody, I love that you guys are all on here, like cheering for your boy. I hope that you guys cheer him on in normal life like this, because that's some awesome, some awesome. Yeah. I love doing shots like that. Yeah. Like, and then it draws back real far. I don't know what it'll do here. He may. Depends on how he feels about the back cut, but if not, he could play it in the corner and go two rails across to the nine. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to head up by that diamond. Side. Mm -hmm. That's the thought I like. If, as long as you're comfortable with playing that much inside on that shot, that's the question on that. Nice. A good shot he made. Three to seven. All right. We have some questions here that we missed. Sorry, Chris. Sorry, Gary. Um. Chris, if you want to match, um, I suggest you go to Road Player, the Facebook group, um, either Road Player, the Facebook group, or uh, just the Facebook page, and you can see there's a link. Just follow that link, and you can find the available dates, and you can sign up there. Um, 
just know that when you sign up there, that kind of reserves your date. You won't be totally confirmed until you complete that, the player information, and you've paid your green fee. Um, so that's kind of how you sign up. There's also a looking for action list that you can check out. There's a ton of players from all over, like down in Noonan, where Randy's from, up here in Cumming area, Marietta, people from Mr. Q's, Q's, everywhere. Um, so go ahead and check that out. That'll be a good place to start, um, for sure. All right, we got the one on the side. Oh, yeah. mm, that's tough. We're gonna roll out from here. That's a tough one. I think he may be rolling out the Karen Seven. Play a cue ball off the two and set him and possibly make it. Let's see what he sees. I see. Gotta assess. Nothing but pockets. I may pick this shot on after the rollout, but it's because of the fact that. Well, it's hard, so hard to tell without being at the table. <laughs> The angle, it like, looks different, huh? Yeah. Jerry, do you guys play um, a lot of tournaments together? You play on league, or you guys just kind of play for fun together? This shot, I like a lot of bottom right. Kill it. Ooh. Looks like he might well, be Miss Q. Yeah, it's hard Thanks. to play that much for him. Oh, that must have been a lot. I'm the elevation see. helped you on that shot. That's that's a shot you want to elevate on. I I'm not at that level yet. I don't <laughs> even understand. Well that's that's a shot. Elevation. You want to use the bridges. You want to use all the bridges. See I'm To anybody who Dang it. are they touching? Uh they're not, they're very close. I can make the problems up here. Right there. Mm, he's really looking at it. Yeah. Okay. Sounds fun. Thanks, Jake, for sharing. It's like he's going to come straight up. That's not a bad turnout. I mean, I mean what else was he going to do? Yeah, I mean, you know? like it was the only difficult. other thing I saw was hitting it very thin and trying to put it behind the seven. Yeah. Two rails behind the seven, maybe even three. But no, I mean, your your bridges, learning all the bridges that are, you know, the more bridges that you can put in your arsenal. Which, oh, oh, goodness. I, I thought it was going to go in the no, corner. No, that was a good shot. I, I think he, he intended on it going a little shorter than the corner, but it, it was a good shot. Listen. Nonetheless. He may roll this in and go one rail to the five. Ooh. It's like he, that's what he was going yeah, for. Yeah, he hit it perfectly. He just didn't make the ball. Hey, Kim, how we going? Perfect. Welcome to screen. Sick. I don't know what angle he's got. He looks like he's got a little bit of an angle, maybe to go around the six. Maybe stone one rail out to the six. I'm not sure. Let's see what he decides to do. He must be straighter than I think because he's looking at it. If he's straight in, he might draw out to the six. It doesn't look like he's going to just it looks follow. Yeah. Yeah, he's trying to go around it. Ah, that yeah. really worked out. It must have been just a weird angle. He's still got it side. 
and he's got an angle he can roll down to the bottom rail and bounce off and get to the seven. Just like that. Themselves said they both are good players. Yes, they are. Both, yes, both very good players. All right, Patty, if you've got a vote, we're doing the <laughs> we're doing a poll on YouTube. If you want to head over to YouTube, Eric got a little on the fifty on this one. Let's see what he got. He's cutting it to the. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh, oh that's. Oh yeah, I tell you though, he missed on the pro side. That's good. You know, from the pro side. That's good. It's just, it's so hard to watch. It's a tough it's shot, a yeah. Shot. That's one of those shots that, you know. From Jimmy. <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. Jimmy, you're a hoot. <laughs> what a goofy. He's a goofball. See what he's going to do. What's he going to do? He may play the bank. Honestly, it doesn't sit horribly. He's he's looking at it. Yeah, he's looking at it. I think in that situation, being up seven three, I think I might play the bank. <laughs> hey, John, how's it going? <laughs> he played it. Oh, he came up four. Max try. That's one thing I've noticed about this table is when you bank, the balls go short a lot. Really? Yeah. Hmm. They shorten up very, very easily, which can be a good or a bad thing. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, I hate to see that. I hate to see that. All right. Robert takes that one. <laughs> See, John says Eric's been watching the stream since the early days, so it's good to see him on stream. Yeah, we were talking before, um, and he was telling us about he watched, I think, probably all through season one, and then he said that he saw we, we stopped for the summer because, I mean, we just went way too hard. Yeah. It was just so much. So we took a break. We came back for season two, and then uh, Eric's like, okay, I got to get on. I got to play on stream. So, yes, it's it's pretty exciting to have him. If you've been watching, it's always fun to have people... You see them on chat, and you're like, who is this? Who's having who's having fun? And they're like, oh, we get to actually see them and play. Next week, we're having Buck Lanier come back um, and Suava Parts. Suava's been watching, uh, Suava's been watching the stream. He joins nearly every week, so I'm really excited to meet him and have Buck come back. So, I don't know. I just like having everybody here. It's fun. And then Randy's coming back. Randy came back, so... I don't know, it's just cool. Sometimes people come and go once and then you never see them again. But it's nice to see people again. Yeah, I've I've actually got a friend of mine that's wanting to play a match upcoming pretty oh, soon. Oh, 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 another one? Another one? Yeah. Uh-oh. Jerry, Eric, and Kane got you hooked. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's funny. When y'all started doing this, um, I was living with a group of friends that I knew through pool. Um, and we we had a Gandhi Big G in our garage, and we were actually discussing the possibility of doing something like this. And we were like, "Yeah, you know, it'd be so cool," you know. And then a year later, <laughs> yeah, y'all start doing this, and yeah, I'm glad somebody started doing something like this because I, I think things like this are it's it's something that keeps amateur pool, you know, involved. Yeah. It's so easy to look at professional pool and, and, you know, stay behind them guys. But this, this gives something, you know, for amateur players to get involved in that, you know, they can kind of create their own fan base. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's really cool to see, like, almost. Um, close. It's really cool to see players. And some players have, like, a really big community and they're really close. Yeah. Um, like earlier today, I mean, we had, I think that was the most shared stream we've ever had. Yeah. There's just, people are just really excited or some yep. people's family show up like here. Yeah. Yeah. 
some people are really quiet, you know. But it's really cool to have people come out. It, I'm, I mean, you're seeing now firsthand. Yeah. It's it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. But it is so fun to put on, to watch. I mean, you get to watch pool. Yeah. You get to talk about it. Yeah, absolutely. And honestly, for me, like, I've learned so much. Like, just hearing you talk about the shots, I'm like, oh, that's how you do that. Oh, that's why that happens. <laughs> oh, of course you do that. Of course. Well, me knowing the shot and being able to do it are two different things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. Let's see. Willie, what's up, buddy? How's it going? Welcome back. Willie Parks. He played last week, didn't he? He did play yeah. last week, yes. I watched a little bit of that match. What's that? We've got a couple options here. I kind of like playing the one, two rails, playing the cue ball behind the three. Is that what that is? That's the five. Right, the three like, and the five look kind of the same. Yeah. That's the ones I'm struggling with most right now is telling the difference between the three and the five. Um, One is the three, and the other is the five. That helps you kind of differentiate. You. No, I got you. I got you. <laughs> I used to have a problem with the, I don't, I'll be honest, I don't what like when people shot. play eight ball because I can't tell the difference between, I think, the two and the eight or the four and the eight. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. oh my God. Well, I'll tell you, I've watched a lot of matches on YouTube and um, it never fails. It's either the two and the four that confuse me or the two and the eight. Uh huh. I've watched a lot of matches where the two and the eight look almost identical. It's got to be really on the Yeah, side. like... Why are they shooting that one for Yeah, like, what are they doing? I'm going to go one way. You did catch the way you wanted it to. Look, it went a little long. I see Jimmy's um, feeling spicy today. He sent a, a very friendly to us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jimmy spicy. said, Randy, what would be our match? Uh... I tell you what, we'll play a race to 25, but I want 38 games on the wire. Ooh, that sounds like a good <laughs> matchup. I think that's primo. But you get the two. He gets the two, you but get I get two. 38 on the wire in the race to 25. I Doesn't make no that. sense, does it? No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, it's kind of an insider we used to tell you, John. Oh, okay. I'm like, no. I don't get the joke, but I don't know. I usually don't get a lot of pool lingo or pool jokes. I'm like, no, I. Yeah, like when we first did this, I was yeah. like, I was like, what's a sitting duck? Like I'm sitting here, like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about. Ooh, good almost. Shot. Very nice. Very nice. Played it at a good speed. No, I um. Oh, maybe. Hey, luck is good. Work hey, out. Go sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Sometimes. Sometimes. I don't know how Finn is going to hit this eight. He may play this two rails and play the nine ball on the sides. Maybe. Let's just call. See, John A is asking if we need a guest commentator. Do you know who John A is? John A? Yeah, who is that guy? Never even heard of him. I don't know if he can play a lick, to be honest. I don't, I don't know. He doesn't even play pool, I don't think. I'm just kidding. John, if you want to come commentate, come on there. Oh, okay. It's three to nine, and we'll take a break here when somebody hits ten. Anybody? Let's see, John, do you want to come commentate? 
Oh, okay. We will have a new commentator, a guest, Mystery Man, come after the break. John A., you're talking about yourself like that, buddy. <laughs> and John does love camping. He's trying to go today or yesterday. He would really go yesterday every day if he could. This uh, this year, John got for Christmas a smoke tent. Like, it's a giant tent with a stake in the middle, and you cut a hole in the side, and you put a little tiny wood brick. Huh. It's really cool. It was really smoky, but it cool. was actually warm. It made camping in the cold not so bad. That yeah, was a good break. Hey, Bobby. How's it going? Get a shot on the one. He makes them the one and go... To hide it all the way down to your I may have left a window. I think that is the tiniest window, but I think it's there. I think it's there. Let's see. Let's get a, let's get an overhead view, huh? I don't know. I feel like that's what they say, like on the news. Let's switch for the weather, Bob. Oh, mm. Just barely. But there, that window was there. Window it looked like there. it was just real small. Now, John, I'm not gonna lie. That's my kind of man. Trash bag for rain gear. Eyebrows, eyebrows. Bobby McGrath says hello. Hello, Bobby McGrath. He's going for the jump again. Good hit. Left it long. Good deal, good deal. Hey, Chrissy, welcome to stream. Thanks for uh, sporting your boy, cheering him on. Love it. I guess we're doing all right on Facebook. Doesn't seem like it's too choppy. I'm gonna just put like a craft in there, just like sneak in there. Yeah, that's one way to do it. I'll bounce out and get a handle. Mm hmm. Not quite as much as you would really like. Okay. You may see him go two rails out to the six here. I can't tell how much angle he's got. It's always gonna be tough being yeah. that great. That's why I like the two rails out in that situation because you don't have to hit it quite as hard. Mm. You just spin less speed. Mm. You know? And when you're doing less speed, it can grab the clock a little better, and it's more you, it's more likely like, to kind of grab onto the side corner. Yeah, the pocket and yeah, you like to spin do the work instead of the speed of the balls. It's more fun to hit it super hard though. Yeah, it is more fun. Oh my God, John, stop. Got a bang. John is like itching to get over here. He is <laughs> itching. I just thought he sent me a text. He's like, You want me to commentate? And he's putting on the stream. You want me to commentate? You want to play pool? You want to go to 50? He's like, Go play pool. Go play pool. <laughs> been on the road, man. Literally. Get in here. Literally, he's been on the road. Actually, no, he's been in the air. On the plane. I like. Sending this ball and going two rails to one another and seven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The other way. Well, he did tie up the eight nine, I believe. Possible carom. Be like, I don't even see that. I can't, I can't see that. I'm not. Okay. John Asher said he raced the 50 after this. Right, my dude. John, if you got a bed to sleep in for me, I might pick you up on that offer. <laughs> we were joking earlier that, you know, like you live here now. You do live here now. Yeah. Can't leave now. <laughs> that was a good shot that you just played there. Yeah, so the very good safety. Yeah. He's got a two-rail kick, maybe one. 
I like the two rail. Oh, just came up a little bit short. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, watch out for Kitty. Thank you, eight. Yo, we buy the nine now. Can't tell. Uh, I, no, I don't definitely care in the nine. I, yeah, I think that's a better shot. I don't think it goes by. Jimmy, you got to come play on stream first. And then I think we can commentate. Me and Jimmy could play a match on stream. I like okay. playing with Jimmy, yeah. All right. You know, I credit a lot of my early days of pool to Jimmy. Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy Baswell. He's been playing a long time. You know, he taught me a lot when I first started shooting. For real? Yeah. How come yeah. this, I mean, I just met Jimmy, I feel like, last week. And all of a sudden, he just popped <laughs> out of nowhere. And now he's like, everybody's talking about Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy this. Who is this man? Very knowledgeable guy, man. Okay. Really, really. Well, not to the eight, I believe. As long as the eight passes, looks like it does because that's what he just played. I guess, I guess. Now, if it doesn't pass, you could. He could play the Karen here, I believe. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. If the eight doesn't pass, I think the shot is the Karen. Oh, it was barely. Ooh. Hey, you got a decent roll, I think. This looks like a safety situation. Yes. Now, the, he may be able to pocket the gate. I can't tell. By kicking it? No, I think he might be able to cut it. No. You think so? Maybe. Can't tell from there. Can't tell. And I can't, I can't. I'm looking at the table, like the real table. It's like you're okay. shooting right at it. I know we can see it. Yeah. I don't know if he can do that. Mm. Robert has a makeable ball here. What I like here is going three, possibly four rails to the nine. Going short rail, long rail, short rail, possibly the long rail again. You just got to focus on making the ball right here with some right spread. Just like Two. that. Oh, not that much, though. Three, four, oh, man. Man, Colin, you are not kidding. You are not kidding. I was not ready for this. <laughs> All right. All right. Robert gets the pin first. We okay. taking a commercial break here. We're gonna take a commercial break. We're gonna take a commercial break. We will be back after these short messages. <laughs> My button's not working. Be back. It's time to let your friends know you play for real. Salado is now awarding monthly cash and prizes to players around the world. All you need to do is download the app with your friends and start battling. Playing pool has never been more fun. Add real pressure to your everyday play with Salado. Any matches played, eight ball, nine ball, or 10 ball will count toward your monthly ranking. And if you want, you can even choose to submit your match results to Fargo Rain. Want to fill in the gaps between leagues and tournaments and make it count for something? Salado has your back. Pool deserves more people like you. You deserve more pool in your life. Download Salado now and begin the next chapter in your ability. It's time to let your friends know you play for real. Salado is now awarding monthly cash and prizes to players around the world. All you need to do is download the app with your friends and start battling. Playing pool has never been more fun. Add real pressure to your everyday play with Salado. Any matches played, eight ball, nine ball, or 10 ball will count toward your monthly ranking. 
And if you want, you can even choose to submit your match results to Fargo Rain. Want to fill in the gaps between leagues and tournaments and make it count for something? Salado has your back. Pool deserves more people like you. You deserve more pool in your life. Download Salado now and begin the next chapter in your ability. It's time to let your friends know you play for real. Salado is now awarding monthly cash and prizes to players around the world. All you need to do is download the app with your friends and start battling. Playing pool has never been more fun. Add real pressure to your everyday play with Salado. Any matches played, eight ball, nine ball, or 10 ball will count toward your monthly ranking. And if you want, you can even choose to submit your match results to Fargo Rain. Want to fill in the gaps between leagues and tournaments and make it count for something? Salado has your back. Pool deserves more people like you. You deserve more pool in your life. Download Salado now and begin the next chapter in your ability. It's time to let your friends know you play for real. Salado is now awarding monthly cash and prizes to players around the world. All you need to do is download the app with your friends and start battling. Playing pool has never been more fun. Add real pressure to your everyday play with Salado. Any matches played, eight ball, nine ball, or 10 ball will count toward your monthly ranking. And if you want, you can even choose to submit your match results to Fargo Rain. Want to fill in the gaps between leagues and tournaments and make it count for something? Salado has your back. Pool deserves more people like you. You deserve more pool in your life. Download Salado now and begin the next chapter in your ability. It's time to let your friends know you play for real. Salado is now awarding monthly cash and prizes to players around the world. All you need to do is download the app with your friends and start battling. Playing pool has never been more fun. Add real pressure to your everyday play with Salado. Any matches played, eight ball, nine ball, or 10 ball will count toward your monthly ranking. And if you want, you can even choose to submit your match results to Fargo Rain. Want to fill in the gaps between leagues and tournaments and make it count for something? Salado has your back. Pool deserves more people like you. You deserve more pool in your life. Download Salado now and begin the next chapter in your ability.
It's time to let your friends know you play for real. Salado is now awarding monthly cash and prizes to players around the world. All you need to do is download the app with your friends and start battling. Playing pool has never been more fun. Add real pressure to your everyday play with Salado. Any matches played, eight ball, nine ball, or 10 ball will count toward your monthly ranking. And if you want, you can even choose to submit your match results to Fargo Rain. Want to fill in the gaps between leagues and tournaments and make it count for something? Salado has your back. Pool deserves more people like you. You deserve more pool in your life. Download Salado now and begin the next chapter in your ability. It's time to let your friends know you play for real. Salado is now awarding monthly cash and prizes to play. Who are you? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello, Randy. How are you, sir? What's going on, buddy? It's good to see you. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming, dude. Yeah. Anytime. I'm going to put on my headset just because it looks cool. Makes me look like an adult. Like, you know, Even though I'm, we all know I'm a big bat. Big ass yeah. man child. <laughs> there we get your uh, mic turned off. Oop. Nice. Yeah. Take you a second to get used to the little blinking dot. I hear you. How was your trip, man? Long, dude. Long. Long. Yeah. I hear you. But you get kind of used to traveling after a while, you know? So like what you're saying is we're playing a race to 50. Now's the time to do it. Probably. I've been up <laughs> since like 6 a.m. So, yeah. or well, 7 a.m. I guess this time. So. Yeah. I just flew back from uh, New Orleans and saw a dude like dancing in his underwear on the strip in Bourbon Street. Yeah. That was an interesting one. I got a picture of that. Cool. <laughs> I got offered a cocaine, which is like a normal thing to get offered apparently, apparently for so. me. <laughs> you laugh. It's like a running joke. Oh, yeah. I get offered yeah. cocaine more than I get offered weed. I just have the face. Some, he may draw back here and play the six at the side and roll up to the seven. It's kind of what I like. It's not bad either. He went a little far up on him, but he can play it in the corner. Play it to the corner and get the seven. There we go. Make that a little bit bigger. Nice. Can you guys hear us okay out there? Why am I right? Don't get straight. Yeah, I think you should probably be able to play a just a stop shot here. I think it looks like it'll slide over. If not, it can come off the rail a little bit. Play the lead the Ooh, Actually, he had a completely different angle than I thought yeah, he did. That's what I thought. It's always rough to tell, like on these TVs, like yeah. what the angle is of the ball. We need a bigger monitor. What do you like here, John? Right here, I, uh, I just like stun it over like he did. Yeah, that's what I like too. I think like a shot like that can be kind of hard though because there's like there's a there's a feel that you got to kind of get used yeah. to with shots like that where you don't want to hit it too hard. Right, and it's just it's hard to get kind of used to uh, having a smooth stroke with that right. nice softer hit. I like a. Uh shots like that i've gotten i've gotten to where i like playing more spin less speed cinch the ball with a lot of spin and letting the spin work for me instead of against me you're finessing it yeah I, I've, I've gotten to where i i tend to let spin you know take the ball where it naturally wants to go it's a great shot you just played there stay out of the corner beautiful that was a good shot. Was really a thin, shot. so you gotta put a lot of power yeah. on something like that. That was a great shot. 
hitting a ball that sand and controlling where the cue ball goes is always going to be tough. Yeah, it's it's definitely a different ball game when you kind of learn how to play those more like a follow through heavy base shots. Yeah. Versus just trying to hit the ball hard. Yeah. Especially because like when you're playing it off like a rail, the English catches on the rail a lot better. Right. But then some rails don't catch as good as other rails. So That's why it's worth knowing the table. Well, conditions have such a factor in a shot like that. You know, you never, you never really know what is going to happen. You know, get some humidity older cloths, you know, dirtier balls, never really know what they're going to do. Yeah, these, that these is true. These conditions here are great. So that shot is not as scary, you know, on a table like this. Yeah. We, conditions like that. There's only like one other thing that we could do to like really control, like cl climate control this room. And we just haven't done it. I've thought about doing it, but I just don't really know if it's worth it, which is putting full, which is putting lights underneath your table so it actually yeah. heats the slate up. Um, yeah, you're talking to an electrician now. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to hook I up. I can now. make it happen. I got to hook up now. <laughs> but that's the only other thing. I built those lights, actually. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm very impressed. Those are awesome, dude. It wasn't that bad. I, I do engineering. Oh, so yeah. Well. I do electrical <laughs> and mechanical. And I guess I do optical right now too, which is yeah a different kind of a weird one, but but yeah, that's the only other thing we've kind of thought about doing. So for anybody that doesn't know at home, we actually have like a dehumidifier in here that stays on forty five, and then we have a heater AC unit that we installed that uh, keeps it a little bit better temperature control. Yeah. Here. So well, I'll tell you the the heat really eliminates a lot. Oh God, yeah. God, it, it really does. <laughs> the humidity like can, too. Yeah, if you can get on a on a heated table, you know, like like the three cushion players and the snooker players in the world, they all play with you know heated tables. They all do, and that minimizes their you know errors because there'll there'll be a lot of shots you know that you'll watch them shoot and they're like, what are they doing? <laughs> you know, the thing is it will in pool, you know, not in three cushion, but in pool, you'll see a lot of people shoot a shot and it's like, Oh God, he missed that by a mile. But the humidity can have a big effect on a pool table. Yeah. It can definitely have a bit of big effect, especially when you're trying to throw English. Cause then yeah. you your ball grips and things like that. Yeah, you have to it, worry about it, throwing it. It'll to the look side like they missed it by a mile, but, in relatively speaking, they only missed it by a millimeter, you know? Yeah. But you know, like, I don't know if you, do you like shoot guns? Absolutely. Like, yeah. you know, like you can miss by an inch when it's at you, but right. then you get a hundred yards down the range, you know, yeah, exactly. you're going to be off by yeah, a mile. Your margin of error <laughs> is a lot. And when you're playing a, such a fine game, you know, like you're, you're trying to put the cue ball on an inch by inch. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it it's, it's, it's really the hardest game in the world. Man. It really is. It really is the hardest game in now, the world. Do you play golf at all? I hit balls really hard. Okay. That's about it. <laughs> well, I I hear the argument a lot of which is more difficult, golf, pool. And I can I can say that for me, I've played golf just about my whole life. Um, I haven't played golf consistently in a long time, but I can still go out you know, once every couple of weeks and shoot in the eighties. Okay. That's bad. Ass, though. That's crazy. Now, but you started going though, right? Huh? You started yeah. Young I started, too. I started, I think really young. starting young in a sport like that, I think yeah. it makes a huge difference. That's like a world of difference. Oh, yeah. But, but I can tell you this, if I don't hit a pool ball, it's a good shot for two weeks. <laughs> you know, it. you know, my game will go straight down in a, in a hurry. But no, you're. But you're your right. body's. I think your body just gets kind of built for something. Because I actually started with uh, golf. Yeah. 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 I started with golf, and I actually started playing pool later in life. Yeah, same as me. I uh, and I can still drive really far, but I yeah. can't. Um, but I can't like do like wedging and putting too good. But yeah. I can still drive like a retarded. Oh yeah, yeah. That's always been my strong suit as well. You know. The drive. The drive. Yeah. Uh, and put some money on it. Uh, you probably have. We go, me right oh, man, we go to the driving range together. I, don't <laughs> I have. I played like golf one time the other day. That's it. Yeah. I other than that, I haven't really played in like twenty years. 
I go yeah. to the Top Golf every once in a while and drink <laughs> alcohol and just smack the shit out of balls. You know what's funny with me and golf is I've, I've always been pretty good at golf. You know, relatively speaking, you know, I'm not I'm no master of golf by any means, but I've always been somewhat good at it. And but I've never had the competitive desire in golf that I ever had in pool. Five to ten. You know, when I was in high school, I, I played golf every day. I worked at a golf course. Damn. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was shooting even par pretty consistently. That's crazy. But I never desired to compete in. I had more fun going out with friends and drinking beer and playing golf. <laughs> but in pool, I'm the exact opposite. Really? You don't <laughs> yeah. like see? Yeah, that's a... no. I had no fun going and drinking beer and playing pool. Hell no! I'm, you know, I want to compete. Want to compete? Want to yeah, get some money? Absolutely. Whether it's for money or in a tournament or anything like that, I just I have no desire to compete in golf. Have you tried the uh, Iron City Billiards tournament yet? No, I wanted to go at the last one they had, and I had to work. But no, I do want to get out there. I have family that live in Birmingham. Which electrical um, company do you work for? You don't work familiar, do you? No, no, okay. no. It's a it's a contracting company. Small family owned. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Smaller one. Just the way I like it. Yeah. I, I recently started working for a smaller company. That's been a big change in my life because I, I used to work for huge companies and it's yeah. really nice working for a smaller one oh, for well, absolutely, man. They 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 have their own schedule. They can do whatever they want. Yeah, and everybody's just a little bit tighter. Right. It's kinda nice. Everybody knows everybody a little bit better. You're not worried about like corporate politics, which is like another whole other like mess. They might not require a COVID shot. <laughs> it's just like right. that. She said, Randy, I don't think you want to take that bad. I know I don't want to take that bad. I'm pretty sure you could outdrive me. <laughs> I've never had a ball before in my life. Even in my best <laughs> days of driving, I'd be lucky to hit. 275 to 300. I actually didn't really think that I drove that far. Uh, well, and I know I, I know I can drive far for like an average person. Yeah. But I was looking it up earlier today, actually, like some of the long drive records that are in like Georgia yeah. and South Carolina. Yeah. So like the top one was like 330. Yeah. So I hit a 328. That's good. Like three days ago. Well, That's good. Sunday. Yeah. On Sunday. And that, that was the first time I've even hit a ball since, uh, I don't know, a year. Yeah. See, my, my strong suit in golf was always not necessarily that I hit the ball far. Yeah. But I could put it anywhere on the fairway. <laughs> See, that's good. That's yeah, all you, I mean, that's the best. I mean, you, you, can drive you can beat my ass in that fucking yeah, game. You can all drive day. 250 and put it on wherever side of the fairway you want. You know, that that was always what, what I strove to do is – I didn't want it to slice everywhere. I wanted to go straight as an arrow. <laughs> you know? I still got one that was three twenties and it sliced way to the left. Yeah. And I was like, I don't even know how the hell it, like maybe that broke the machine. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> how old no, are you? I'm, how old am I? Yeah. 29. I'll oh, okay, be 30 cool. in April. Nice. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you, sir. Looks like I needed to come over here and commentate. He's starting to. Shoot better with me over here commentating. <laughs> that was a good shot. Nisi said her too. <laughs> She's also 29. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I'm not, I'm not that old. I'm just going bald. <laughs> Big difference. Yeah, I didn't know. Uh... I, the only regret that I have in pools that I didn't get involved with it earlier in life. You know, I've been thinking about this a lot. I think there's a lot of like body function thing. Like if you grow up playing a sport, I think yeah. your body tailors itself to the thing that you're doing. I think you're right. Like yeah. there's an adaptation to the stress of like doing those things. Yeah. And I think that's why like you're seeing like so many fucking like 16 year olds and yeah, 14 year olds that are coming out of the woodwork. And they're just man, doing it. They, they grow up. Oh God. You know, Philippines. Like, that's crazy. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Catching six ten. You were all pups. Built up, built up a little momentum. Hey man, I gotta start somewhere, Gerard. 
I gotta be a puppet some point in my life. <laughs> Can't start out as an old man. <laughs> I mean, I do drive like an old man, but that's a different story. Jimmy Baswell says, Randy, at least you're consistent. Uh, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> you played pretty consistent when you were playing on stream. Uh, you know, the the thing is. I think that we that got brought up like several times while we were uh, commentating your match, actually. I don't know yeah. if you ever went back and watched it. Nah, I've watched it once, but honestly, I was kind of disgusted. <laughs> it, it it It's upsetting to me because uh, – I, I used to play better than that. And I, I really haven't played much in the last year and a half. In the last year and a half, I've gotten to the point where I only play about once a week. Oh, really? Yeah, when you go from playing eight to ten hours a day straight <laughs> once a week, it's kind of hard to... You go through withdrawals. Yeah. They're, like, scratching your neck and you yeah. get, like, fucking blisters and shit. And, I mean, I I, I was going to where, where like, I, I had a very consistent practice schedule. You know, yeah. every day, seven days a week, eight hours a day. Was it a practice schedule or was it a play schedule? No, I had a practice schedule. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. I can show it to you on my phone. <laughs> Did you get, what'd you do, like drills and stuff like that? Or No, I, I hadn't think. When did it, you start playing? I started at 23. Okay, okay. So, so you've been playing for a minute. Yeah, I, I'm about um, about six years in now. Damn, that's a long yeah. time. Um, but no, I, I, I think... My newfound love and pull is straight pull. Straight pull? Yeah, because I, I don't have to have a regiment. You know, I can I can go practice for an hour and play straight pull, and it brings every aspect of the game into the mix. And yeah. I can compete against myself. I don't have to play with anybody. You know, like my high run in straight pull is low 70s. Still, that's really good, though. That's yeah, good I mean, I, I've gotten better at it, but... You know, that's what it's not I'm, a seven oh eight, but no, you know. no, exactly. <laughs> but but that's what I'm competing against. You know, yes. Yeah, every time I play straight pull, my my competition is my high run, so I can play it by myself, and I I still feel the nervous tension. You know, especially when you start getting to like the forty fifty range. Yeah, you know, you're like, ooh, I have a chance of beating my high run. You know, you won't get this shit. <laughs> yeah, on rack number twelve. Let's but go. I I think. I think when you're playing by yourself, it's the best game you can practice by yourself. I think so too. I thought that's what I started uh, Nisi off with was straight pull. Yeah, man, straight pull brings everything into the mix. Well, I just think that it's pretty good too because if you get out of line, like there's always ways to get back. Yeah, in line and with straight it, pull a lot of th majority of the time, not the every thing, time. But the thing that I struggle with straight pull is the break, the break shots, the knowledge of the break shots, how hard to hit them, which, what spin to use, which break shot. Like like in straight pull. Yeah, yeah, which break shot in straight pull, though? Well, just any of them. Okay. You know, the knowledge of how hard to hit them versus how much spin to use and all that kind of stuff to make sure you get a shot. Those are the things that I still struggle with. Have you tried one pocket? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've played more one pocket than straight pull. Oh, have you? Um, well, relatively speaking, I've played more people in one pocket. Um, but, but to me, the, the break shots are the ones that I struggle with in straight pool. So like, like figuring out which ball to use for my break shot. Okay. And I'm talking like 14 point continuous, you know? Yeah. I, 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 the only times I've ever played straight pool, I use the same like a uh, break that they used to use back in the day where they just hit like the, uh, end ball. Yeah. Make no, that one ball come back. No, over I'm, and talk, come I'm back. talking yeah. continuous. So like if you're, if you're playing straight pool and you're leaving one ball left on the table. Oh, I see what you're saying. I yeah. see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. No so the break shot in between your racks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not the racks. not the beginning. Not the beginning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I think everybody kind of struggles with that. Well, it's it's a it's a tough shot because you never really know what the balls are going to do. Well, and you right. also want to bump like a ball into like the perfect position. Yeah, and, and you you gotta you gotta really factor in how much spin versus how hard to hit the rack and everything like that to make sure that you don't get stuck behind the stack. You know, if you get stuck behind it, you're you're in dead man's land. Oh God, yeah, yeah. You're <laughs> there's nothing you can do. So. So that's what I like about uh, one pocket is you can mess yourself up real quick. But I mean, you got to like be real careful, like trying to break out everything in one yeah. pocket too, you know? Yeah, exactly. But you also got to play safeties like right. <laughs> crazy. Yeah. 
kind of like separate. Tiny AOD said, I had a pool table at my house during high school, and you guys never came over and played. We always chilled at your house and partied. <laughs> Who are you, Tiny AOD? Kind of like separation here. What do you think, John? You bought uh, a high eight, put the five on the opposite end. Play the two. Yeah, I think, I think that's the. Put the ball behind the eight, put the five on the other one. Yeah, see, so he kind of he tried to go for it. Didn't I think it's. Yeah, I think if you hit that ball a little bit fuller, with a little bit more like, uh, and probably like top, outside, I think you yeah. probably could have got a little better separation. But it's hard on those shots, man, because you don't like English changes like. You know where the cue oh, yeah. is and everything. So yeah, that's the nice thing about playing one pocket. You get to practice those. Yeah, constantly. <laughs> yeah, and, and one pocket is a good practice game too. Hey, thanks for joining us, Tiny. I appreciate it, man. Are you the party animal of the bunch? I think oh. Eric is. I mean, me. Oh, is that what we're saying? Oh no, uh, I was just gonna say. I think Eric is starting. Find a rhythm here. Oh, he definitely. Yeah. yeah he's, I think he, he broke and ran one rack, didn't he? He's taken the last four games. No, three. Sorry. Yeah, I think one of those was a break and run. Might have been. I think so. Eric was a badass at baseball during school. Is that why his calves are so big? <laughs> I like, believe that. Curiosity. His son is even better than he was. That's awesome. That's freaking awesome to hear. I love it when uh, I hear about people's kids being awesome at sports. You, you know David Moore? He don't live too far from here. He, uh, his, uh, his kids are into a lot of sports, too. They're really good at it. See him on there, like, wrestling and stuff all the time. He posts them on Facebook. He's really proud of his kids. This is awesome. Yeah, that's, that's what you want as a parent. No, oh, God, yeah. You want your kids to surpass you. You got kids? No. Ah, me neither. No, 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 no. One day. I've had a dog for a while. That's been my that's been my child. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they've quite figured out the break here. I think like if I could opt for a rack or a or a template on this table though, I would rack I would rack with a template every time. Yeah. Because there's you can soft break on this table pretty good and make the wing ball. Well, you know, it's it's funny to mention that because one of them is using the template and the other is using the delta. Yeah, that's why I was bringing that up. But I've noticed that the the one that's using the template seems to get a better look at the one. They've both been making balls, but the one using the template seems to be getting more consistent with a shot on the one. Oh yeah. You're definitely yeah. like the, the template is really consistent. That's why I don't like using yeah. it. Like if I have like an option that neither one of us use it, I'll just opt for the option that neither yeah, one of no, us you're uses right. it. You're right. Cause I would rather neither one of us use it yeah. than me sitting there making a ball on the break every time. Right. Cause it's relatively easy to control the cue ball on that too. Yeah, your speed of the break is a big factor, too. My kid is pretty awesome at football. It's good, man. They're having a they're having a junior tournament here pretty soon. Uh, that my, that's my mother. <laughs> uh, well, you, can't, having go, a junior you can't go to the junior tournament, then. No, I can't do that. Yeah, I'm it's uh, 18 and under. Where at? Ooh, I'd have to look it back up. Somewhere close to here, though. You know, I'm closest relative for me. I want to throw that out there. It's not like 30 minutes from my house. I was actually <laughs> talking to, uh, I was talking to my girlfriend about that last night. And we were talking about some of the struggles in pool. And I, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because I kind of want to direct your brain a little bit. I, I want to, one of the things that I want to strive for in pool is not even necessarily winning any major tournaments. I want to get, more young kids involved in pool. Yeah. So I played at a at a nine ball tournament Saturday night and it was crazy to me because the majority of the people in the tournament were under the age of twelve. <laughs> and I was like, that's crazy. Like I've never seen that before. <laughs> Where were you at? 
Uh, I was at Pike Fields in Zebulon. Okay, Pike. Um, but I think that that would be a cool thing to do. Um, the problem is, is you know, there's still a lot of pool rooms out there that don't allow people under the age of 18 yeah. inside of them. And it was just, it was cool to go to that place and see kids everywhere. And, you know, if you think about pool as a sport, Compared to everything else, the the difference between pool and everything else is that pool has no little league. You know, <laughs> they have no pee wee league. There's nothing like that around the pool. And you know, even bowling has kids leagues. You know? <laughs> yeah, I think the biggest problem, like in this situation that you're kind of discussing, is there's a there's a very negative um, view, uh, yeah. like of pool in it's the like community. Yeah, well, it's like that as a bar game. It's also looked at as gambling. gambling like it's associated yeah. with drugs. You know, right. like I mean, so like, realistically, I can't tell you how many people I know do Adderall, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. that's the reality of it. That's yeah, just, I mean, it is. That's just the reality of it, and uh, you know, you're always going to get those negative things about it, even though yeah. you know, like you, most school sports are associated yeah. with steroids and things like that. So, but you know, a lot of people, you know, say, well, you know, that's 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 kind of the responsibility of the higher up players, you know, to change that image. And I, I disagree with that. I think it's the responsibility of the older, more mature players who are not pro level, but people like us, you know, like your pro players aren't going to go out and run a youth league, you know, like Shane Van Boning has his youth event that he does. And that's, that's great. That's the kind of things that we need to pull, but we need it more accessible everywhere not just on one side of the country. Yeah. I, yeah. I think Vegas it's uh, shouldn't be the only place that a young kid can go compete in a tournament. Uh, it's, yeah. it's not, but you definitely have to go like search for it. Like yeah. it, it's, it's, and it's harder to find yeah. because like, uh, we actually know a junior player. Um, we used to know a couple, but, um, we know a junior player who, uh, we see him posting up quite a bit of tournaments. And I think some of the, um, I think Team Mako, if I remember correctly, Nisi could probably tell you better than I could. She's not paying attention. Uh, I think Team Mako actually has like a youth division that yeah. they like help like sponsor and get them into places. And I think Predator has some too. Yeah. Um, and a few other places. So like, I mean, they're out there. It's just that yeah, they're out they're, there. The thing with pool is that it's not a very like uh, popular sport and it's kind of niche. So right. you know, you you're gonna run into those like foresight issues i guess is right the yeah. right word you know what i mean yeah and i mean it, it's it's something that i know is it's not going to happen overnight but i mean pool does have an image where parents don't necessarily want their kids involved in pool oh no, no. i mean pool players <laughs> don't even want is. their kids involved in pool right know? exactly and they know how much time it takes especially if you're involved in pool like you know what goes on <laughs> And pool, and you're like, no, I don't want my kid anywhere around. There's that. a lot healthier activities you can do besides yeah. pool too. Yeah. You know, sitting in a fucking yeah. pool room for eight hours a day, right. practicing is not the healthiest thing you could do. Yeah, leaned over something like that, and so yeah. you're hurting your back. But you know, like, like, yeah. like with me and golf, uh, my, the, my the Chinese actually have a university for it, by the way. Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. and they're got- they're also um, government sponsored. Yeah, 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 their government sponsor. It's yeah. mainly because of like the World Cup and stuff like that. Yeah. Like yeah. they want they want to win those events. Right. So they, they like put together things like that purposely. The US really doesn't like care too much about pool. Yeah. Um, as far as like that kind of stuff goes. And the like places like the Philippines have like some best players you'll ever see anyway. So well, the Philippines, you know, the difference between the Philippines and everywhere else is they start gambling it. Oh, okay, like yeah. seven years old. Oh. <laughs> you know? hey, Maybe play. even earlier than that. Go play this guy. Well, I know some. I know some people in the U.S. that probably started gambling around the same age. Well, yeah, you're right. You're mainly right mainly because people would just say like, "Hey, uh, go play this guy," and they wouldn't tell them they were gambling for money. But right, they'd go play right. a guy, and then they'd and be gambling with him. It's just the nature of pool rooms, though. Yeah, and I think it's gotten better, though. It's definitely it gotten, gotten better over better. the years. Yeah, yeah. they they've gotten a lot better than what they used to be. Um, of course, I mean, I I wasn't involved in pool, but just from being involved in pool and people who have played pool for um, uh, you know, you you don't walk in pool rooms and see people playing for 
hundreds of dollars anymore. Not like you used to, you know. That's a good point. Pool is mostly an adult only competitive sport. Kids mostly learn at home. Playing on parents' tables, pool halls serve alcohol and don't allow in minors. Yeah, it, it's not it's not um it's not conducive for a bar to realistically not have alcohol or a pool hall to not yeah. have alcohol because I mean it's hard to survive if a for just a pool hall to be a pool hall, like they don't really make any money. Well the way I look at it, restaurants serve alcohol. Oh yeah. You know, rest, you know to for me a, a pool hall serving alcohol is relative in, in terms to maybe, you know, like, yeah, I could understand if it's a pool hall that's more, because I've been to pool halls that are more designed around being, being a bar than a pool hall. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and, and, you know, they have karaoke and everything else, and it's like, uh, is this a pool hall or is this a bar with pool tables? Well, they, they <laughs> yeah. cater towards the leagues. That's right. really what it comes down yeah, to. Yeah, that's what it They comes cater down towards to. the leagues, and, yeah. like, the leagues are really what brings the money into the pool halls. Yeah. You know, you're it's right. not it's not pool players. No, it's not right. like people like me because I show up and I drink fucking water. You know, yeah. it's the dude yeah. that's like a fucking like three, four in AVA that comes in and like orders yeah. like a big meal and like four or five beers. Well, that's where the AVA is with their money. Oh, you know, God, yeah. Like oh, hell yeah. Yeah. But th I think the APA has uh, done a really good job at uh, promoting the sport. So. Yeah, they, they've, they've. I think they're frustrating as hell sometimes, but. Yes, you're really right. Them. And I get frustrated, frustrated with them too. But at the end of the day, the thing that the APA has done is they've narrowed the gap between your higher level players and your low level level players you know they've done a good job of narrowing the gap between the two where ah. bca Oof. Was, that was, was, was got the nine i think i think they've actually done like bca has done a better job at it you think so i think so bca has i think far, well more specifically i think fargo rate has done a better job at it yeah so the fargo the rate way. system was yeah. actually designed from the same system that they use for, in chess to uh really? calculate chess players yeah i didn't know that and I think that like having that story, because think about it like this, like a 550 and APA is a seven, but anywhere from 550 really? yeah, to wow. 820 is a seven. So like that yeah, huge yeah. range. You're right. So like you run into like, it only sucks when you get up in the higher levels. Yeah. It doesn't suck as bad in the lower levels. Yeah. I, I did play uh I did play APA eight ball for a little while, and I, I kind of noticed that, you know, once you get to a seven, there's really no cap as to how high you can get. Nope. You know, <laughs> like you could play a, a seven. seven. Efren's a seven. Right. Yeah. You and Efren are a seven. You and Earl Strickland, or you and the Shane Van Boning are seven. Exactly. <laughs> so, and there's been, you know, there's been pros like fucking April Larson and shit like that, right? Yeah. Like. They were pros, and they were like starting to get sponsorships and stuff like that. They're still playing APA, right? Chris Reinhold, I think, was a, probably a pretty good example because yeah. I think that he was in like APA Vegas, and he had just gotten like sponsorships and yeah. stuff. But you know, at the same time, I don't, I don't believe that APA is designed for a player like that. Like, I, I don't, I don't think the rules system and the handicap system has any place for a player like that. I just don't. Oh no, no, know? definitely not. Yeah, I, I, I don't agree with someone who is capable of playing at that level. Well, you got to remember though, yeah. realistically to be at that level, you're only yeah. 750 maybe. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a lot of people that are 700 and below that'll blow a 550 out of the water. Every oh, absolutely. Time. Yeah. That's a lot of weight. Absolutely. In Fargo rate, that's a lot of weight, but in APA, it's no, no weight at yeah, all. Yeah. It's right? no weight at all. Yeah. I mean, it's a little bit different if you're a female, sorry if there's any females watching, but like the top female in the U.S. is like a 680, I think, or a 650. Somewhere is that what the top is? Yeah, in the, U.S. in the U.S. There's a lady in China, though, and I forget her name. I could look it up for you if anybody's interested. There's yeah. a lady in China who's like a 760. I'm really, <laughs> really interested to see her play. I think I've watched a couple of her I'd matches. Like she was killing it. Yeah. Because, I mean, I, I'm I'm one of those players but that I, I believe after the break, men and women are about the same. You know, as far as the game of pool goes. I know I need to move this money. <laughs> trying to look at it. Is that what we're saying? No, I'm 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 one of those players that believe uh after the break we're all the same. 
you know, as far as men and women, I, I don't, I don't feel like the game any differently from men to women have any difference, but the break is a big factor. I think it's just like the drive in golf, you know, I don't really think that the break is that really that big of a factor to be honest with you. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what I think is the big factor. Yeah. I think testosterone levels is a big factor only because there's really hard evidence that shows that testosterone promotes competitiveness. It does. It, it does. You're right. And I, I think like competitive edges, there you go. Siming Chin is almost an 800. Yeah, she's a beast. I mean, I'd love to see that. But I think that like when you're talking about like much higher levels of testosterone, I think yeah. it promotes a lot of competitiveness. And it I does. think that's a big factor in drive in how far somebody wants to go with a sport. Yeah. Um, and I think, I think that plays a big role in it because realistically, like physically wise, I don't think there's any difference between guys and girls on a pool table. Yeah. Maybe, maybe if you get like into the longer races, yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, anything other than like a race to eleven, I I give anybody a chance to win. Well, they just tied it back up, ten ten. Wow, Eric is winning the last seven games in a row. I'll tell you, both these guys play great. They really do. Yeah, I guess he honed it in. Sorry about that. I didn't interrupt you. No, no, you're good. We're good. Thai Ming hasn't played since COVID. Really? She hasn't played since COVID? Really? How come? Wow. Do you know why? Out of curiosity. Asking for a friend. Yeah, Tiny, I, I feel you there, man. I, it's really on par. And I so I I wanna I wanna backtrack though, because I, I do agree with you on one thing. I, I think that there is a difference on the break with men and women, but only on specific types of formats yes. where they rack the yeah. nine on the spot and they don't allow you to break from a row. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, if, if you play standard nine ball rules and you've got a template and you're putting the one on the head spot, anybody is subject to make a ball. And run oh out. God. Yeah. Yeah. When you're now, doing that, it yeah. doesn't matter what gender. Now, if you compare the men's circuit to the women's circuit and you rack the nine on the spot, and you break from the box, and you make the break very difficult. Yeah, it's <laughs> not know. using a template. You're yeah, using the rack, exactly. like a wood rack. Yeah, there are these gaps everywhere. There, there is a a level of where the break is a factor. Yep. You know. It's just like the serve in tennis or the drive in golf or anything like that. You know? Yeah, Chad, that's why I was specifically trying to reference like – female players in the U S because like there are places that I think there's a lot of females that start younger and they also go to that same university. And I think like Alicia's Yap went to that university and like a bunch of other like pretty good players. Oh, she's an 801 now. Oh, I guess she must be playing somewhere. Wow, 801 is pretty damn strong. I, want, I wonder. Uh, she's a beast. That lady is a monster. I think that's I think that's higher than uh, quite a few like pros that are oh, in the circuit yeah. right now in the yeah. U.S. As far as I know, the only two pros, male pros in America that are higher than that is maybe Shane and Skyler. No, I think there's like 30 of them Tyler that are higher Skyler than over 800. Over 800? Yeah, let me look. We'll look at it. Or pull it up. I think there's 30 that are over 800, if I remember correctly. I think we counted this the other day. Top in the U.S. Okay, so we got... So three in the yeah, U.S. three. So Mike Shane, Sky, and... Top in the world. Shane. So there you go. Top in the world. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. In the world, yeah. I'm sure there's about 30. 32. 32. Yeah, I mean, when you're... When you're comparing to all the players in the world, <laughs> you know, There's 800 is pretty strong. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Honestly, 700 is strong. I mean, 700 puts you in the category of, you know. <laughs> I've got to where I play with a lot of 700s recently. Really? Yeah, 700, 650s, 680s. Mainly because I like I travel around so much, and the main yeah. people that will play, like a random person that comes in, are people that are sitting around 700. Yeah. Otherwise, like... 
I like might find a match that's around five fifty. You know. Yeah. What is your farter rate? Five fifty. Five fifty. I'm like a five fifty flat. <laughs> I have no idea what mine is. I'm 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 honestly considering using the app. You know, when I play matches here, just to establish one because. I don't play leagues or anything like that. Oh, the Salado <laughs> app? Yeah. Yeah, that's why we do it here. There's a lot of players in Georgia that actually want a Fargo rate. Yeah. The problem is there's not a lot of BCA leagues in Georgia. That yeah, like there's not. Rates. Yeah, they're more predominant on the West Coast, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Way more predominant on the West Coast. Well, not even on the West Coast. Even like Tennessee, South Carolina, places like that. Really? No. Yeah, they just... It's like Georgia is just a little old school when it comes to that. But honestly, like... you can, you could drink on the screen. Um, honestly, though, it's just there's a lot of really good players that play in Georgia, and uh, just a lot of them are old school, and they just don't want to switch to something that's newer. You know, a lot of more, a lot more gambling goes on in the South, like really? Kentucky, Florida, Georgia, Mississippi. Like great players. And all see, I would, I would think that the gambling would be more predominant with the BCA than the AFA. Oh yeah, it definitely is. is it? Yeah, but they don't they don't like to post their stuff up because a lot of gamblers don't want any tickets lead back. And let him what catch up. The, um, what a about, lot of gamblers don't like people to know where they're at. You know? Yeah, that's true. What about the USAPL? Is that it's uh it's in the, the same category as USAPL. Uh so like okay. BCA, I think BCA USAPL they all use uh, Fargo as as far as I know. The USAPL didn't used to, and they used to have a bunch of different they used to have a bunch of different ones that they Oh, looking for the template. Yeah, they used to have a bunch of different ways that they used to do BCA too. Like I, I went to a few different BCA leagues before Fargo Ray came around, and some of them would be like, you're either a B player, an A player, a, a master, and a grandmaster, and then some of them would be like, oh, you're a C A B A. And then there's just some weird stuff, other stuff that they were doing. Yeah, because they, they classify them in different groups. I know that. Yeah, and it used to just be like all over the place, depending right. on where you were living. 45 viewers. Yeah, they, they come on to listen to us talk. <laughs> <laughs> They're talking about women on here. <laughs> Got to hop on that sexism. <laughs> These misogynistic bastards. No, I, I actually... um. I've watched a lot of matches, like like the Whirlpool Masters, for example. Um, I give anybody a chance in that to win, you know. So whether they're men or women, it doesn't really matter. But the rules in the the break to me is the driving factor in that. Like even even with kids, you know, if if you're racking the one on the spot, you know, um, even with kids, you know. I, well, you know how it is. Corey Duell proved it, you know, back in the early 2000s. Oh, you yeah. can break the balls five miles an hour and make the wing ball if you hit them the right way. Corey Duell was <laughs> kind of like a rack. breakthrough kind of person for yeah. racks and stuff. Yeah, I feel like I feel like Corey Duell gets a kind of a bad break of his run because a lot of people credit him to ruining the break in my <laughs> and I'm like well I mean I mean somebody was gonna figure it out eventually yeah it was just a matter and then he thing. tried to ruin it for one pocket and, and then he tried to ruin it for some other figured, ones yeah you're right people figured it out before that they were just proud know. to do it <laughs> so, you know, uh, like, how, do you, how do you break five miles an hour <laughs> on yeah. live TV you know? <laughs> but it's but it's anything that gives you an advantage in the sport yeah I mean he what it is is he uh he figured out a way to run out every time. He yeah. wanted to beat the game and I won't. And that was the way he figured out how to do it. And the break's a huge part of that. Such a breaks a shot. Yeah. Breaks a shot. I mean, when you can break the balls five miles an hour and make the wing ball and leave the one hanging in the side pocket of the rack. Yeah. I mean, you can. And I mean, at the same time, it wasn't just Oof. the break. You know, He Cole tried to Dole, compress into the rail to make it go to a shorter yeah, angle. Yeah, he did. He tried to shorten the angle. But now Corey Corey Duell could also run out like an alien on top of that, you know. So yeah, he doesn't he doesn't play as good as he used to. No, sure. no. 
I'm not sure how old it is now. But... Uh, they yeah. lost the magic rack for a second. Oh, yeah. How cold is it where they're playing? Um, I don't know how warm it is in here. 73. Is what the... uh, 70. 70. 70 in the room. Yeah. I think Tylen's accurate over there. Uh, 45 outside. Oh, sorry. Nisi already got you. There you go. We're all here for the community. Right. <laughs> We're all here for the community. I came here for the conversation and the nine ball tournament breaks out. <laughs> Bamboozled. Hey, hey, you know what? Sometimes we just got to throw some pool in the mix when we have a pool stream. We'll start the podcast later. Not really, but maybe. We've started, we've talked about starting news before for pool. Really? Just to like kind of get all the news articles for the week out to everybody. Cause that's one thing like pool really doesn't have is like, it doesn't have a very good place to go for. No, AZ to learn like what's about the only thing you got. I know. And <laughs> AZ, even like the way that website is made was made like in the nineties and it yeah. has not changed since. No. Like, That's the one thing is pool. Everything in pool is just so old school, but I mean, like it lost so many corporate sponsors in the nineties and the eighties that, you know, it, it really didn't go anywhere after it lost so many sponsors. I can't tell if you got there or not. Supposedly there was like a, there was a, a tournament back in the day and it was held at a casino and the players may have, uh, let somebody win that had really bad odds so they could basically like quadruple the money that they were going to make. Yeah, double it up. No. Yeah. So they put all their personal money like into the gamble of that guy winning and then just threw all the games. Right. And if you watch them play, and I think there was like Buddy Hall was in that, and Buddy Hall was like missing shots left and right that he shouldn't have been missing. <laughs> but Not they gave the, that one guy that was playing against them, they gave him like 50 to 1 odds. Yeah. So it was like, you know. Put down a hundred grand, like five million. Yeah, I <laughs> like, mean, you what? What did he do in a uh, color of money? What now? All right, Thomas's. Oh, thought you were asking me about the color of money. Oh, uh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. <laughs> a little bit different. I, I think I forget what that tournament was called. It was interesting. I mean, you can read about it on AZ Billiards. It's not, you know, there's speculation all over Reddit about it. The Color of Money tournament? No. Is that what he's asking? No, uh, he was asking something about uh, the actual movie. Oh, the movie? Guy dumped against Fast Eddie. I don't think, I don't think the premises behind that was he uh, dumped against Fast Eddie. Who was it? I don't know. Maybe I missed something with the movie. <laughs> no, Fast Eddie. Fast Eddie gave up. He wanted to play the kid. Yeah, he forfeited the last match. Oh yeah, yeah. You're, you're, yeah. You're kind of close on that one. Yeah, a little bit different. Because the kid, the kid gave up so he could go gamble people. Yeah. Because he wanted to lose, so people would gamble against him. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. In his younger days. Have you ever listened to... Uh... Oh, he overcut that. Oh, he did. Have you ever listened to uh, Mike Siegel talk about teaching Tom Cruise how to play pool? He, uh, he played with him for eight hours a day. I think he said for five weeks, if I remember right. And he, he couldn't even hold a cue. He started playing. And in five weeks for playing eight hours a day, he could break and run a nine ball rack. Dude, don't surprise me. <laughs> like, I mean, when you've got someone as good as Mike Siegel teaching you, you know, hey. You want to see somebody who's got amazing fundamentals? Watch Nisi shoot. She has the best fundamentals I've never ever seen, seen her shoot in life. until today, but she really does. She, I know. She's got great fundamentals. Me, like, so David Moore is another 7'9", and we were sitting there talking, and he was like... She's got better fundamentals than I do. I'm she like, really I know. does. She's got natural fundamentals. You know, her her joints just work the right way. <laughs> well, there might have been a, quite a few training sessions here at the Road Player HQ. Oh, okay. 
And oh, it makes since, sense. Since like we know like our own faults, it's like we can kind of correct those she's from somebody who's like more of a blank slate, right? She's hustling us. If she learned like all the angles of the balls and yeah. like understood the uh, the pattern play for running right. out and stuff like that, like should be should be a fucking fearsome person to play against. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Nisi said, "Oh well, yes." Um, community taught Michael really taught me the mechanics had pool ontology service. Oh, that's right. For anybody that would like to join pool ontology service. What are you going to do here, John? Right here. We'll be on a two. Yeah. What do you think? Um, I think you probably follow the two ball down, leave the cue ball like, behind the nine. I like banking the two in between the four and nine. Well, he went the other way. Yeah. yeah I was see, thinking uh, leaving the cue ball up behind the nine there. Yeah, see, I think that, like, that's the probably the direction I would have went to. But you got you got to think too, like when you're going forward like that, you're transferring so much of the power into the two ball yeah. that you're gonna make that two ball probably come back all the way down. So True. you're taking a gamble on either one of those. Well, Robert has an opportunity here. Yeah, Robert let him catch up, and then he took two games. Ooh. Give him a pretty shot of shot for the two. You can just draw back a little bit here. Yeah. See, this is one of those shots, dude. You just don't want to hit it too hard. Like, no, you just have to have a good stroke. This is one of those more spin, less speed shots. Mm -hmm. Play a lot of spin, stroke it clean. He's going to play in the corner. Yeah. Corner's probably a little easier to get to. Yeah. Like Nisi was telling you earlier, I kind of use a little bit too much English. <laughs> well, we all love English. That's a good shot. Yeah, and I think once you get kind of used to playing it, like it plays pretty good as long as you're playing on like the same table. Yeah, I mean the condition when when you play with a lot of spin, the conditions really are a big factor. You know, spin doesn't always react the same on every table you go to. Oh, no. Especially with the conditions being humid or hot or anything like that. Build that ball, I say. Might fall on this two rails out to the eight. Yeah, I think that gives you a pretty good natural shade. Probably yeah. want to put a little bit of right on yep. it. Look at a lot of top on it. I like just I like just going forward here, yeah, rolling it back down. Come one rail back down table. John, when are you going to play it on stream again? I don't know. Depends if you let me play that other match. Like that's not well. <laughs> Might have a match coming up. You don't know. You don't know me. I lied. She does know me. She lives with me. I live under her roof. Shot. She's coming in as a yes commentator. There's a lot of yes coming in. We're just switching it in and out today. Uh, if we got another person. You will never right believe now. what Randy said. He said, I cannot sit next to John no more. He's crazy. Okay. I guess. Is that Thomas Morgan? Yeah, well, why are you asking about another match coming up? There might be another match coming up if you forget. Is there another match coming up? Not today. For me. When? Oh, it depends. It'll depends probably be in, it'd probably be in like three months. Oh. Oh. With Nick the Q? Yeah. I roll. Why? It's in like three months. Yeah, you got time, see? You take off for the summer. Take off for the summer. <laughs> oh, shit, we haven't even got near summer yet. I know, I'm so ready for summer. I'm done with winter. The summer is finishes. You summer don't like winter? Start of the rain. I do not like winter. Uh, I don't do winter. I do summer all day long. I was, uh, I was camping in a hot tent during the winter. Do you like that? 
let's see. Let me describe my experience of camping in a hot tent with you, my love. Um, I stayed up all night, slaved over the fire, literally, and kept you warm. <laughs> That's not true. Because you were snoring the whole time. I was sleeping good. That's what I was doing. Like that. Oh, Thomas is bragging. He just got six inches of snow. Six <laughs> That's inches a lot of snow. snow. Fuck that. <laughs> Pass. Do you want a hot tent? Because we got one. <laughs> no, I'm not going to lie. I actually like the snow. So yeah. that's, that's pretty good that you got six inches. That's pretty awesome. Here's a weird shot. And do you shoot it in the side actually... or do you shoot it all the way down to the corner? I don't know. We don't know. What's he got? In the side. Oh, he's got a good angle for the um, too. That can reach out pretty good. Robert's actually listening to music. He's not watching his own match. I was curious about that too. <gasps> Aww. But he's here. Jerry. Good shot. Little bump bump. You know what? Um, so every once in a while, somebody will call John and they'll like talk about stream or whatever. And they're like, oh yeah, Nisi, I heard you were on stream. And I'm like, the heck? I've never seen you on stream. I like when people comment and say, at least say hi. I'd like to know who's here. Who, who saw you on stream? Oh, one time Ben called him. He's like, yeah, I really tried to oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. come for you that one time. And I was like, hey, shout ben? out to Ben if he's on here. Shout out to Ben. Say something. We can see you. We can't we see you. Yeah, we well, we know where you are. Right? <laughs> not, he's not too far Speakers, from here. FBI. Right here. FBI. He didn't move far from here. I either have a cocaine face or I have FBI written on my face. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> that's it. You know, something that's funny about John is that he, like, laughs and he'll, like, squint his eyes and then put his eyebrows up every time. I don't know that. Hmm? <laughs> it's just a funny look. Can't drive my car on this shit. You can use, do you have some snow chains, bro? That's like a... I use, it's like a hibernation situation. You just, I just don't go outside. So, I'll say it. What? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was going to just say, like, we used to have, like, a all-wheel drive vehicle for this. No, that was really nice. Was that your Jeep? No, it was the um, Subaru. Subaru. It was a CRV Ooh. or something like that. I forget. Um, I was Some gonna, kind of, like, all-wheel drive thing. I was going to change I was gonna change the topic. What's your um, topic? This is really exciting for us, both of us. Uh, we have passed a thousand followers on <laughs> on total between YouTube on, and Facebook. On total between YouTube and Facebook, and this was our goal for December twenty twenty two. But I mean, we missed it by twenty days. That's not too bad. I mean, it's not too bad. And Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the stream. Yeah. Hopefully. Exciting. Oh no. Oh, don't. Uh, that was a good shot though. That was a good shot. So thanks everybody for joining us. Well twelve tied back up again. It's all tied. I got a lot more energy now. I you had to take a break. break. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was tired before. But last night for some reason I was up at four AM. Like I was just, like fine. I had to like wake. I had to like be like, go to sleep. Go to sleep. And then I woke up at eight AM. Michael called me at 8 a.m. And he's like, or he texts me, can you please call me? And I'm like, oh, my God, are you okay? Oh, he's like, yeah, are you going to do street? Okay, I might just come over now. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I was so worried. I thought something happened. I was like, you need me to pick you up? What's going on? <laughs> I'll come pick you up from the hospital right now. <laughs> In a minute. I got the shoes on. But then I'll be right there. No, he just wanted to. But then I read the text again later. He said, please call me if you're awake. And I was like, oh. He's back. He's back. 12 12. All tied up. I feel like I he came back morning. pretty far. Yes. I He's think uh, Robert's turned into a hustler over there. Let him come back that far. Hustle, hustle. Is there a way that you can make pool more athletic? Uh, More athletic? I mean, you could put like... Not really. No. No, you couldn't do like I mean, you got to rest athletic. No, yeah, Gone. form form is hard. Okay, I'm not denying that you need skills and 
to play the sport. Like you need to have mechanics of an athlete to play the sport. I'm yeah, talking yeah. about like getting your heart rate up, like using like your cardio, muscles, like cardio, like. Uh, there's no cardio involved in pool. You know, like man workout stuff. Man workouts. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm just talking about man workouts. <laughs> no, just something that I'm just saying. I'm just playing. Did you like this, that picture from New Orleans that I sent you? The dude in his underwear. I didn't even see the dude in his underwear. Like, how did you, you miss that? You sent me a picture. Well, like I, I asked you to send me some pictures, right? And so, I went to New Orleans once, and I just wanted to see it at nighttime because I only seen it during the daytime. So I got one from last night, and I was like, "Oh, it looks so cool! Like so many colors." And then I saw in New Orleans. Like you think of like the classic picture, you've got like the double decker two-story whatever like french style yeah and the french quarter colors and lights and people and like just walk everybody's yeah, walking it's like a festival so that's what it basically looks like and then in the middle of the picture i don't know how i didn't see it is a man in his tidy whities and john's like did you see the oh thing? no he's in a man thong no no, no. i don't know. they're not white they're blue that's not a thong that's uh, a speedo do you guys want to see no we don't want to see oh shut it on there okay Show it. I'll just, post it on Facebook in a little bit. Okay, on your personal because yeah, I'll post it on my personal about, Facebook. We just talked about we want more kids to play. Ooh, that's if true. Show them this. It's not gonna happen. I mean, I'll post it on my Facebook. You guys can check it out if you want to. Yeah, go check out John's Facebook. <laughs> John is an original creator with his reels. You don't like my reels? I don't like your reels. My re like your reels. My re reels. Yeah, because they're re-reels. They're you funny. Don't, you don't even put, like, text I'm on I'm not the trying to be a creator, though. <sighs> I'm not trying to make my own reels. Oh, yeah, I'm just right. posting things that I think are funny. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. So if it wasn't for the stream, I probably wouldn't even be on social media. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Well, you would be on social media, I hope, because I have to send my TikToks to somebody. Oh, damn. That was a good save. Ooh. I don't know if he meant to do that or if he was going for it, but that worked out really good. I think there might be a window there. Nah, uh, he's got some room, but I don't think he's got enough room. I think he's gonna have to spin it around. He could spin it around it. Oh, he's gonna he's go for the jump cue. Uh, is it just me, or is the side view camera like a lot better quality than the top view camera? Uh, we bought that one at a later date, so it might be. We have another one of those cameras. We could put it up there. No, we bought the the overhead one. No, the overhead one's the first one we bought. Yeah. Yeah, and but that that one's even that one's ten years older. No, that one's newer. No. Or is it this one that's newer? This one is newer. Oh, uh, this one that's newer. We tried to use the GoPro. The it GoPro did not, did not work out. It didn't work out. Good hit. Oh, hey, guess what? What's up? Um, Mr. Cantrell is printing us a banner. Oh, cool. So we're gonna have a banner for that little spot in the back there where all the I call it crap. Um, the the, ball the white wall. No, the ball cleaner where the dehydrator. Darn it! I keep calling it a dehydrator. What's it called? The heating AC unit. No, the little one. Dehumidifier. Okay, the dehumidifier, dehydrator, whatever. It's the same thing. To hide all that stuff. It's it's really cool looking. I'm really excited. It's gonna be ready on Tuesday. By the way. Oh, that's awesome. Well, you don't want to surprise me with it. No. It's a big shock. You always want to surprise me. I'm really excited about this one. I do love surprising you. Do not try and keep a surprise from John. My goodness, he cannot. What is it? I'm not much of a surprise person. I don't even really like Christmas. <laughs> if, if I want to buy you a gift, I'll probably just buy it for you. Oh, damn. That wow. was a hell of a shot. Wow. That was a good shot. Clip it, clip it, clip it. Clip it. If you guys are on YouTube or Facebook and you see a shot that you really like, I think you can click or press the clip button and it'll like capture the last 15 seconds or last 30 seconds. If you want to save it for later, like if, you, if you've got like a buddy that's playing and you want to be like, this was an awesome shot, you can totally do that. You can get a replay set up. Oh, yeah. that's the first lead change. Uh, 13 to 12, the first lead change. Lead change. Lead change. Yeah, thanks, John. Didn't even see. Did you see the lady behind him? I think she was just yelling at somebody. Definitely had a fake butt, though. That's not. 
Bubbler. Bubbler. Oh, everybody was taking a picture of this man. Yeah. Oh. He was had he been there it? for like two hours. I went to the bar and had like two beers, came back down the street, and he was still there. Wow. He was on some so, drugs. <laughs> he was on dang, something. So dang. dang, dang. All right, I know we're all here for Eric and Robert and this awesome commentators, all five of us different characters but i do want to let you guys know we do have february dates open um so if you do want to play in february we've got february 17th the 24th and the 25th i still. think that some of those have already been taken today what? yeah what i didn't i did not see i think i think two of them got signed up for today no what i think so oh. perhaps that is not true don't listen to me Nope, still available. So oh, they're all still available? Oh, okay. The 25th. Yeah, so there's dates to sign up for on the calendar if you want. Dates to sign up for? Fridays and Saturdays. You know, we had a um, a stream earlier this afternoon. And one more thing I want to yeah. point out to you is if you want to do a stream that does not have commentating, oh, yeah. we can accommodate that. And we can accommodate that on days that are not on the calendar. That that would be like you have to talk with us and we have to make sure that we're free. Yeah, yeah. We'll just talk with us, day. make sure that we're free, we'll put it on the calendar. It just won't have commentating. The dates that are on the calendar are specifically for the ones that don't have commentating. But we mm -hmm. want to open it up more for the players and things like that so you guys can actually get some time in if you want. Yeah. Um one thing that's really awesome about uh playing on stream is that these videos are Mostly evergreen. I think they get deleted off Facebook, but on YouTube, if you ever want to go back and watch yourself play or, you know, watch a buddy play or learn something new, you can always go back and watch it on YouTube, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, I think our next purchase is probably going to be a hard drive that hooks up to our laptop so that we can uh, record all the videos and just stick them on there in case they get deleted off of YouTube or Facebook. Because we actually have a video that got uh, deleted on both. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Might be on Twitch, though. Okay. Uh, <gasps> No, it's not on Twitch, so we get deleted. Those get deleted after 30 days. Oh, in case you didn't know, we also stream on Twitch. Nobody's there. But we stream hey, on we Twitch. have people there every once in a while. We got pop people that pop in, and they're like, hey, Paul, what's up? When? There was one guy. No, there's a couple. There's it been like two or guy. three. It's a different guy. It's a different guy. Yeah, it's a different guy. Because I talked to the other guy. He was at a bar. He plays at a bar in Tampa. Oh, for real? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. He plays at the bar that me and uh, Jonathan saw uh, Jill at. Oh, yeah. I saw Jill the other day. I don't think she recognized me with a bigger beard. <laughs> You're doing it again. <laughs> I can... Squeeze? <laughs> Why you gotta make fun of me? That's a good shot, by the way. Looks forward to them. Making fun oh, of each other. Boy. And giving hugs. Mm. I think you can go off the rail and probably hit this, though. So it's kind of nice. Yeah, we're playing pool here, Jonathan. Also, I haven't seen John this whole week, so we're also just... Yeah, we're, we're all seeing me at the same time together now. We're apparently all family. <laughs> I've been gone for work all week. And uh, we might be opening up another business here pretty soon, so that'll be a fun new event or two. Oh, yeah. He almost had that. That would have been good shape, too. Man, Colin came on. Like, right when we first started, and there was, like, an almost scratch, and he was like, man, Robert and his near almost scratches, and I was like, I never noticed that before, but now I'm just like, oh, is it gonna go, oh, oh, oh. And now you're just noticing it every time. Yeah. But, yeah, he's so nervous. <laughs> oh, almost. Not where he wanted to be for the seven, though. No. <laughs> the eight ball on the way. Oh, the bank shot. Like... Yep. Can we switch it? Yep. See what he's looking at. He's looking at it. Like our uh, side camera might have got smacked a little bit. Oh, yes. We had a couple of bumps. We had a couple of bumps. I tried to put it back straight. He's going for the jump cue. 
guess he's probably going for the nine here. I don't really see anything else he could really try to do. I don't see a save or anything. Where are they? Uh, we are playing in Cumming, Georgia. Road Player HQ. That's oh, right. Road Player Headquarters. Moving one. Uh, some people have asked us if this is a franchise, and no. John invented this all by himself. Yeah, we invented this. We invented we are, this. We together. are inventors. Well, John had the idea, and then we've been building it. Actually, somebody didn't like the name Road Player when I first started it. I really wanted it to look like at Gremlins. I had a really vivid idea of what the Gremlin would look like. That's what you wanted it to be. Like Gremlins. Yeah, because at the beginning we had, like, there was a joke of, like, Oh, the ball didn't go in. All the pocket gremlins, like, they don't fall. And I, just, I thought it was cute. And then the pocket gremlins, and it was an idea. Uh, okay. It was a whole vibe. But I understand Rogue Player now. And I'm glad that you stuck with it. That I didn't listen to you? Absolutely. <laughs> well, you heard it here, folks. See what I had that I didn't listen to I was wrong. Oh, damn. Oh, inside. Uh, maybe he didn't have the cut on that. I thought he had the cut. Does he have a cut for the... Yeah, he looks like he does. Entrepreneur. An entrepreneur. Hey, we might be soon. That's a real thing. What? You've already done this, John. No, oh, I'm talking about with the other one. Oh, the other The other one's a little bit bigger. Bigger scale. Ooh. He almost effort and raise, raise it into the corner. You thought he was going to put it in the corner. Into the corner? Like cut it? Yeah. I think it was a kind of like had a built-in scratch there. And it was also a pretty tough cut. Yeah. You would have had to hit it pretty hard. So the bank's actually better. Okay. Because I think the bank would have actually left him safe if he hadn't hit the nipple like that. Um, yeah. yeah. Tied up again, folks. That's Eric and Robert, 1313. Lucky number. Lucky number 13. My lucky number. You made that like yesterday. I made that up like when I was a kid. 13? Yeah. Oh my gosh. When I was like 14 years old. Well, you missed it, John. You missed it by a year. That's not how that works. Actually, 14 always comes after 13, no matter what. Unless you're going negative numbers. You, know, you can't really see that magic rack that we have on the table too good if the magic rack's just sitting there by itself. Oh, yeah? Oh, because it's blue, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It kind of blends in with the cloth. This is a really good match. I agree with you, Gerard. Yes. Yeah, they're very close. Are y'all streaming it at Legends? Did y'all get it set up? They said that really? they were going to put a fire stick up. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Really? Robert has had some of our closest matches. Robert's had some of our closest matches. He's been on the stream more than anybody, I think. Yeah, I think he's a three-peat player. Huh? I think he's his third or fourth one. I know. We're going to start getting him t-shirts every time he comes. He's just going to have a whole outfit. Road player entirely. I'm getting me some sweatpants. There's a road player going down the leg. Mm. <laughs> Sigh on the table. Get a get a road player logo around the butt cheek. <laughs> uh oh. Player stream reservation notification. Oh, I see. Uh oh. Randy Knight and Dalton Hoyer. I see y'all. Say, Randy didn't want to play me after all. Ten ball. Ooh, that's going to be our first ten ball. Yes. Okay. We might have to make that a race to 20 instead of 25. Or oh maybe more like closer to 17 or 18. Oh, yes. All right. I see y'all. I will have to message y'all probably tomorrow uh, to coordinate all of that. But yeah, cool. Okay, guys. So we only have the 17th left. If you snatch up the 24th during stream, we will do that. But otherwise, we're going to shut it off for Friday night. Oh, we only have one left? One, maybe two left. Right, okay. I'm not going to go shut it up. Shut it. Remove the date right now. Yay! Tiny AOD, what's your name? I want to know. Absolutely. The first. Mez Turtle Rack. Which one is that? Let's look it up. Why is it called the Turtle Rack? Because it looks like a turtle? Is that the big one? Turtle That's the big ass rack, isn't it? We are Googling. Doodling. Yeah. 
Oh, because it looks like a turtle. And honestly, oh, I feel like I've seen those before. I haven't bought one. Yeah, I should buy like one of those for here. So since you guys can't see what we see, yeah, yeah, Chad, that, that feels very obvious right now. Like, but okay, we had to we had to go through the process. But it's basically, can you go up a little bit? The turtle rack is like a circle with a head at the top and then like three little legs at the bottom. Oh, there's three yeah. different kinds though. Or so two different kinds. There's the turtle rack and then the ultimate turtle rack. Ultimate. Oh no, and then there's a comp. Oh, so then there's the turtle rack, which is a circle, and then there's a triangle one with like two a V in the middle pointing into the triangle and then like three little spokes coming out. I don't know what kind of turtles they're looking for, but they don't have any arms. Box turtles. Oh my god. Okay. Fun story time. So John I think you've said, told this on stream before. Well, I don't know why it keeps coming up. John <laughs> said, keep bringing it up. Well, I didn't bring it up. Chad brought it up. It's a turtle. It's a related <laughs> turtle. So John took us on vacation to everywhere. Oh, no. Hilton Head to up to South Carolina, nearly North Carolina. And there was a turtle on the highway. And John turned around. He whipped the car around. He said, okay, let's get this turtle. And I'm like, okay, cool. So he hops out. He gets the turtle. He brings it in the car. And so I'm like, okay, cool. I will put it out on the passenger side, you know, to get it off the highway. It's just a two-lane highway. And then he, uh, he's like, no. He's like, no, hold it. Wow. I'm actually really surprised. And he drives off. And he just keeps driving. And I'm holding this turtle. Like a big turtle. Yeah, it was a really big turtle. And I'm like. Bigger than you. Okay. Like I my my mama actually used to have turtles. She lives in New Mexico. She used to have turtles that would like come up out of hibernation and we would feed them cheese and they like named them. Uh I'm very comfortable with turtles, but this was a big turtle. And he kept driving and driving for what felt like thirty minutes and I'm just I it almost got hit like, by like ten cars though. He made good time in the time that we turned around and got there. Like he made it over a whole lane. He was like barely missing like cars though. Remember, we also saw another turtle on the road and didn't get back fast enough. We got okay. hit by a car. Yes, but that, that was, was a different time, a different time, different place. That was down the street from our house, and it was raining really hard. And then same situation. John said, "Let's go get the turtle." We turned around, and it had already gotten hit. run over. But it was also a snapping turtle. In case you guys don't know, I'm asking, but I like animals a lot. <laughs> but that's not obvious. <laughs> uh jay we will take a break for sure when we hit a 20 game mark um or 20 points mark some whoever reaches 20 points but they can always ask for a break before then too yep yep they're allowed to ask for breaks and yeah. if they don't ask for only take one of 20 just so we can let you guys see our sponsors um we i've also already taken sponsor. one break today but yeah we'll probably take another one ain't no rest for the week oh, what'd you no, think of the like earlier match Oh, so much fun. So much fun. Um, I was I really enjoyed watching the going back and forth between the eight ball and the nine ball. I know the it, was, it was a little bit of a brain bender. Um, enjoyable to watch, but it was a brain bender to suddenly kind of like check in the stream and like watch eight ball and then check back in the stream and then it's nine ball. You just gotta like I don't know, it's just like a that different would, mentality. Now it seemed like it really came down to which one they actually started first. Eight uh -huh. ball or nine ball. Mm -hmm. And I think they. I think if eight ball had started first, Joey might have actually won. It would have been a very different game because they Devin would get ahead, and then Joey would catch up, and then Joey would get ahead, and Devin would catch up. So it was definitely interesting. I wonder how it would be if you actually switched every single game. I don't know. It'd be hard to do, like as a player. Yeah. Really Just because be it's hard for your brain to kind of grasp going back and forth, I think. Oh, yeah, for sure. I do. I really like watching Nine Ball just because it's a little bit more predictable as to like what they're trying to do. But Eight Ball, it's like there's so many, for me, there's so many options. Yeah, and that's part of like learning pattern play. Pattern play is pretty hard to learn, actually. But there's like, there's strategy behind it. And I think there's like some certain like principles and rules that mm -hmm. I have, like. There's like three or four like kind of principles that I keep in eight ball, and uh, I think once you get those, down, they are. Good. Oh, it's a secret. Nah, I mean, it's not a secret. I don't mind telling it. It's just mm -hmm. I don't want to sit here on the stream and like bore you guys with what I think is best in eight ball because I think a lot of people have different opinions on stuff like that. Oh, uh, I'm just a little bit like I'm just not in practice. 
and it takes me a lot longer to see the patterns and to think about how I can play, how I should play, you know, what could happen. I think I think there's a part of uh um ooh, you almost made that nine ball. I was kinda wondering if it was gonna go. I was watching it, sorry. Like what was that saying? How much is love me? That's not what I was saying. A girl can try. A girl can try. Patterns in nine ball and eight ball. I don't and know what I was saying about it though. Oh no no no. I was just saying that um it, I don't think I think that there's a psychology part to it that your brain starts grasping those things better the more you like look at them like it's like once you see something yeah. once it's easier for your brain to grasp let me see this again right 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 that's a, i think I, th I think that's like the real benefit of watching pro pool players play and going into it with an open mind and just seeing what they do because i think your brain actually takes notes like your subconscious brain more specifically yes it kind of stores it away for later on mm -hmm. if you come to pool ontology service you will also learn the, the ways of the up selection well, I, I learned it myself without it going well just come to service uh how much are they playing for um we don't we don't do that we only do the stream so we're not talking about yeah, but I don't know how much they're doing that for. We only do the streams. Yeah, we only pro we're only publishing streams. That's between the players. Okay, Tor Lowry. Tor Lowry. Lowry. That's great. Oh, thanks, Gary. Has great eight ball pattern videos if you're looking for something. There you go. I think for you, this is my personal opinion, is for you, if you learn the angles, like a, um, if you learn the angles to actually shoot balls at, I think that that would take your game to a very new level. I don't know what it is. I, like, can't see it. My eyes, like, don't line up. They, like, go, like, <laughs> cross-eyed. I'm serious. I think um, there's some, uh, I forget exactly what they're called. But there's like some ways that people shoot. Like there's a, what am I thinking of? Techniques? What's the right word? Yeah, there's some techniques really? that people use to actually shoot, like the ball where they, where it it's not a ghost ball, it's something else. Mm -hmm. Chad, you know what? Yeah, Chad probably knows. Chad knows. You know why? Because Chad or Mike probably know. Chad knows this because we had this exact question in Vegas, and I remember I met Chad, and he was teaching me this. Oh, was he? Mm -hmm. Which which uh, I'm sorry, but which I one were you teaching? Center to edge. He was teaching center to edge. Mm -hmm. And then there's also like what the one that's like splicing or something like that. I know I don't know what it is, but I couldn't remember how what it was called. Center to edge. My brain cannot grasp those shooting methods. Like just can't. <laughs> I've tried them. I can't do it. In my brain, I have like a laser that I. Like, I put, like, a laser through the ball where I want it to go, and then, like, a laser through my cue ball. Uh, so, like, when I first started playing, I didn't know what the ghost ball method was, but uh -huh. I realized that that was what I could do. Like, I knew, like, where the contact point was, so that's what I started imagining. Mm -hmm. It's pulling away again. Took back the lead. Nice two games up. Mm -hmm. Edge of the shaft is good, too. I've never heard that one. It's a new one for me. It's not true cute for you? Oh, it's not too cute. I don't know what he meant to say. Or maybe... Oh, center I'll be right head. back at Hey, you're not allowed to take a break. Ah. Ooh. It's a ghost. It's a ghost commentator for the world. Oh, no. I don't do very good by myself. I do much better when I have something to go off of. Oh no. Robert's shirt is nearly the same color as the table. I just noticed that. Oh, it's so quiet now. Just the tip. You know. I might okay I'm responding to chat I'm thinking about it if you like line up your chef at those kind of like predetermined angles 
and uh, I don't know. It's it's harder for me to like, see it and line line up my body with it and my cue, and like and do that at the same time, rather than just like look at it and like take like a stamp of the the image. Striking line aiming system. All right, y'all, if you need some aiming system advice, head over to YouTube because Chad is hitting this up. He is hooking this up with center to edge, ghost ball, edge of shaft, and strike line aiming system. That's four systems in one chat on one stream. And as always, YouTube University can hook you up for sure. I'm definitely a fan of YouTube University. You can learn nearly anything you want on YouTube. All math, geometry, and physics. Yes. It's actually pretty cool how scientific it is. I was teaching my sister how to play pool last September in 2021. And she had come for a stream evening. And she was here for a week and she came for a stream. A weekend, we were playing pool. We were a bunch of leagues. And she, I was like, hey, let me teach you how to play so that you kind of understand what's going on and what we're actually talking about. So she's like, okay, I'll go learn. Um, but then she's like, well, how do I, how do I line it up? How do I do this? And I was like, I just told her that it's all math, geometry and physics. And her eyes were like, oh, oh my gosh, it's scientific. What are you talking about? It up. I'm talking about when I taught my sister how to play pool. And I just told her like, it's just geometry, just physics. And she was like, wow. Oh. Yeah. Engineers, yes. they gravitate nice. towards the math. I am more of a designer. Da -la -la -la. I don't like. Then you should play one pocket. Um, Be one creative. Pocket. Okay, one pocket. <sighs> My favorite one pocket game was when uh, Ben was narrating what he was doing and what you could possibly do then it became really interesting to me it's so hard for me to play like that though because then my brain's like thinking about too many things wow oh. that's the same time that oh, both of them have missed a back-to-back -back shot like that huh yeah. <laughs> Dang. I was walking home. I had barely had any food today. I ate like a half of a Chick Fil A sandwich, and then I ate, the -A then I ate a slice of pizza from Racetrack. <laughs> That's oh. been my food for the entire day. Oh my god! <laughs> I, so I don't, jealous. I don't ever eat carbs though. <laughs> oh, you're gonna be wrecked tomorrow. I'm gonna feel like ass tonight. Wrecked. You had a Chick Fil A sandwich. Yeah. Oh, why did half. you say have half? Because I don't want to eat the whole thing. It's That's your fault. It's going to make my stomach hurt. Why didn't you just eat the chicken? I don't know. I could have. I think it's the chicken that... I don't know what that shit's made out of. It's probably not real chicken. You know that Chick-fil-A sells just grilled chicken. It's actually pretty good. Like Yeah, but there's this like... And I don't know if it's healthy. It's not really like a chicken breast or anything. It's like meat, chicken meat that they put together and smushed and then made it into a patty. You know, the grilled chicken is not... Is it not? You've never had it? try this out because we were I, I was realizing some stuff about i was realizing stuff about uh meat processing a couple days ago don't when i was talking about cisco don't tell me that's no, no. when we were talking about like uh, pool hall stuff and uh having to order food for your restaurant or pool hall oh yeah. and like the different options that you have because there's a lot of products that have a lot of soy in it yes. chick-fil-a does not help carbs actually you know what i find about carbs and pools weird i get more jittery if i eat more bread and if i have more carbs yeah, like my, my hands shake more. So, I, like, I'm a lot steadier if I don't have a lot of bread and stuff. Is that normal for just like in general? Oh, Nick's in here now. Uh oh, Nick's here. <laughs> just not help. Oh, Tiny AOD says that they build a monumental, what's monumental granite? I don't know what that is. And stone structures for, yes, I imagine it's a lot of math. So, um, let's, let's talk science. Um, one of my favorite podcasts, the Human Lab podcast, talks a lot about dopamine, oh, nerd time, 
um, but also how sugar affects your brain and that your brain actually uses a lot of calories and it runs kind of on kind of on sugar. I mean, I'm grossly like big picture kind of runs on sugar. And so when your brain gets sugar, it like it's up a lot. And it, Stuff. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, carbohydrates and uh, salt and well, carbohydrates and skin are like the number two things that keep your brain functioning. Mm-hmm. Unless, what? unless you are fasting, mm-hmm. you don't eat carbohydrates, or um, or you're starving, then your body actually runs on uh, ketones, which mm-hmm. is your body's burnt fat. It's like a hibernating bear, basically. Burnt chicken nugget. Oh, not quite the action that he wanted. I think he's so good. He's so good. We're not really switching the camera angles too much. He got it too too thin. One thing that these two both tied up again. Fifteen, fifteen. First break. They were making a lot of errors, and like. The errors I'm seeing aren't that bad, but they're just like on the eight ball or the nine ball, like at the very end of the rack. Yeah, I, I look at it like this: like I shouldn't have had that shot in the first place, <laughs> but now, uh, but now I'm on the side, so there I go. Take it. Tiny AOD eat once every three days. Three days? Why you eat once every three days? I mean, I know groceries is better. You must be real tiny. <laughs> Man is fasting like fucker. You don't know. Fucker, crazy. You don't know who's a man. Maybe she's a lady. That's a good point. Are you a man or a lady? Are you I a man or a lady? Don't know. I must know. Let's decipher the winky face. Perhaps we can tell. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh yeah. I've been fasting for years. No one ever knew. I didn't even know. <laughs> Actually, I'll be honest. I didn't realize that I did intermittent fasting until recently. Because I don't. I only eat. Yes, ma'am. Huh. The mystery continues. By contrast, Chad eats once every three minutes. You sound like John. Have you met him? Man, every five seconds. Mm-hmm. And Chad are hanging out and eating food together from now on. Uh-huh. <laughs> Actually, you know, like, like since I've been doing that other stuff, though, like this is the first time I've really ate carbs this week. But since, well, I ate a little bit more earlier. But uh, would you have chicken since, and waffles earlier? Well, no, uh, that one day because everybody else wanted to go there and eat. No, they wanted to go there and eat. I just went with them to be nice. But uh, right. but since I've been eating like mainly just steak, like I don't really get that hungry. You make the cue. He lives in California. Or, oh. He lives close to LA. Brother. <laughs> and 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 oh, nice hit. Hey! Oh, Anton's outside. Hey, hey. can you curse? Um, I'll come, come in. Oh, go to the little shop, not the attached garage, the detached garage, and just come all the way to the back. Go to the little hobbit door and just walk in here. Yeah, don't, uh, don't, don't open it too fast. Oh, yeah. While they're shooting. Yeah, wait until we go to a break. I mean, we're in between a rack or something. He's going for the combo. Combo wombo. I, I think this is probably pretty good because you can kind of hide your cue while behind the six right here while trying to make the nine. Let's see. Uh, I'll be honest, the the combos haven't really been going today. I wasn't too confident to see that. Not anything against the players, but just they haven't been really going in. Yeah. You get those players that are really confident with those combos and some that are not, you know. Jacob, thanks for the like, buddy. God. <laughs> We're getting spicy on YouTube over there. Uh oh, hey, we fixed the stream. It was our apparently our keyframe frequency. How did that even change? We never had issues with it before. Um, we had some issues, and it was kind of a little choppy sometimes, but, like, lately, I mean, you saw before, like, Facebook was unwatchable. Like, yeah, completely it, unwatchable. it got bad, but it only got bad, like, right after, like, or right at, during that one stream, all of a sudden, it just got really bad. Yeah, I don't know. They might have changed their software. I, I, I put the quality down, because uh, I didn't okay. watch it. Gotcha, gotcha. 
Well, I really want to show our business cards. Yeah, for it. Because we're official. We we'll have business cards. We're also a business. Okay, I'm going to hold it up. Check it out. We got business cards. Wait, we're officially baby. a business now, right? Yes. The Ooh, government yeah, knows easy. that we're a business. Yeah, they Check government. it out. The government knows what we can do, which is why lawyers and legal reasons have been brought up quite a bit lately. We just do streams. We just, that was a great shot. That's a shot worth flipping right there. That was a good shot. Uh, Anson, if you can't find how to get in, we'll come and get you after this wreck. Yeah, we'll get you after the wreck. We will save you. Devin called me. He said, hey, somebody's going to come watch the stream. And I'm like, um, okay, I hope somebody comes to watch the stream because, like, you know, we put a lot of work into it. These players are going to play really good. And he's like, no, like, to your house. I was like, oh, okay. Are they okay with having spectators? Yeah. Okay. We always try to keep it to where whatever the um, players want. Yes. Um, in case you didn't know, we are using... Mike mm. Kramer, Nick, you want to play some? Ooh. Mike Kramer's asking. Mike Kramer, who's Mike Kramer? Do I know? You've met Kramer before, yeah, really? once, yeah. I'm I think at a uh, big shots, big shots. So it's been a while. Oh, okay. It's been a while since we've been there. That was like 2020. No, that was, yeah, that was 2020. Yeah, 2020. When John was wanting to start a BCA league, he went all around Atlanta, but like. I'm talking to bar owners and like, hey, what's their BC in here? And then they're out. Yeah, we just couldn't get enough people for some of the bars to start them in was the only problem. Yeah. Well, we kind of ran into a little bit of a time thing, too. Yeah. Nice. You get enough players to sign up. I think it's easy, but just getting enough players. Oh, yeah. I but think you're talking about having a road player tournament, though. <sighs> we got to figure out which bar to actually try to get that to host and end. Would y'all, like, if we had something kind of in the Atlanta area, would y'all come out for a, for a tournament? Like a fun one? Posted like that? Yeah, we're talking about doing an APA 8 and under. I'm an 8 and under. Yeah, no, so you can play on it. You're not cut off. But it'll be an 8 and under. So. Oh, you know what? Um, Shorty's Billiards, come see the fat guy. I have been wanting to go to that tournament for a long time because I want to see if I can. I think it's at his house. Yes. So I found that out today because <laughs> I was trying and trying and trying to find Not an able chat. to find it. And I finally got the address. Oh, wow. Well. Uh, having some rough luck with this. Dad, are you really? Oh, in April? I find that hard to believe. <laughs> seven's the cap. <laughs> in, in eight ball. Yeah, seven's as high as you can be. Why? It's just the way they do it. Why wouldn't it be eight? That's APA for you. Well, then that doesn't make sense. I feel like I've been lied to. It's APA for you. Why are you always lying? Nick's, Nick's talking to you. All... Nick the Q? Yeah, I heard uh we could john and i were discussing things earlier actually and your name come up well if you're talking to john i better hope my name came up <gasps> just kidding why were you talking about me my love uh, why? oh i was just telling we had to discuss it. me and nick oh, might okay. set up a race that was what i sent you on text but... yes i remember that was like two days ago yeah. it really feels like it was two days ago. <laughs> Just not realizing that Nick's on Facebook and YouTube watching this. Are you Nick? Are you serious right now? Jesus. <laughs> Where did all the homies go? Where did all the homies go? I wonder if we could get like Monica Webb to come play. That would be fun. Hey, I wonder if there's anybody. Task. Chad would play her. Chad's the same Fargo rate. Sniffled after you said that, so what did you actually mean? I uh, Chad will play Monica Webb, right, Chad? Oh, cool. Let's start the rumor. Chad's playing Monica Webb. You know what I heard. <laughs> it's an eight and under and nine ball. <laughs> it's a nine ball. Oh. 
I heard a rumor Mexican werewolves are coming across the border and smuggling crack. Yeah. They yeah, do that's it from like, Reno. They're also, that's they're also called coyotes, not werewolves. Mexican werewolves. It's werewolves, John. It's, it's from Reno 911. It's Terry. So it was Terry. Let me have my TikToks out. <laughs> I would try it. Honestly, Chad would play her. Okay. All right, let's ask him. That'd be a tough match. You guys are both like 650s, I think. 650 ish. We can actually 650 esque. 650 esque. Chaz is 621, self reported. Oh. Oh, uh, you're 621. Or... Did he get it? Okay. What's Monica? She's 630 or 650? 656. Yeah, I, I talked to uh, I talked to Kramer and I talked to uh, Chloe and Derek too. Uh, I just got to talk to Macy. That's it. What? I was just asking them if that would if we they would feel uh, what kind of weight I would need from uh, oh. Nick if I was gonna play. Well, Nick, uh, we are getting married at the end of June. Oh, 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 that's what I told him. Oh, yeah. I told him so, I'm on a budget. I'm on a budget. For now, yeah. <laughs> so I can't gamble as much as I used to. But I have a budget for how much I, how much I can gamble for the month, but it's also my same money that I use for going to the pool halls while I'm traveling. <laughs> so, so I do win. I win a little bit. Like I win like a couple hundred here and there, but I also end up spending it at the bar oh. or I get free drinks. Like the guy last night I was playing against, he was just playing me for beer. So I just, I was coasting on that. And he was also paying for the table. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Thank you. I got the ring. Uh, I know she's she's a five. I know it's fucking crazy. I'm a six plus one. I have to give her wet. Um, I have to give I have to give like three or four female pro pool players weight. That's insane. I have to give her weight. A lot of weight. <laughs> well, um. Big time put out Michael Chumming this morning. Big time put out like a Facebook post of like if you're complaining about a handicap, like blocked. Oh, Here's yeah, yeah, blocked. yeah, I saw that. Like, dang, I think, uh, I think Kramer cashed at the tournament. Actually, we might be in Southern California. Months. Oh, that's right. Hey, yeah, if you want to hang out, Nick, we might actually be down there. Sandia. No, we'll probably go down there before August. No. Maybe we'll go down there at the beginning of summer or something. No. Just to visit your family. In so Oh, in Southern California. Here, you're right. You're right. Ren and Ben are getting married. You ready? I forget about this. Okay, so now why are you hitting me now? He keeps getting a two-game lead, and then uh, Eric catches up. It's wow. like a ladder. Wait. Oh, Chazza, who got blocked. You're blocked. I do. I have to spot you. Hey, do they mean you get blocked on social media? Or you get banned from the tournament? Or do they mean one or the other? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, okay, so here's my take on it. I've put a little bit of thought on this, like maybe like 30 minutes. But 30 minutes? That's yeah, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't put that much thought into it. Depending on but how fast you I think that it's not a bad way the way they're doing it. Because the female pro players started off as six six plus ones, and they dropped in the tournament because they didn't win. Now, why they didn't win, I don't know. Now, I do know there's other 650 pluses that are actually a four in that tournament, too. And they haven't won the tournament either. So, people... And that is one of the biggest reasons why there's so much money in that tournament is because there's all these players that are getting these huge handicaps from everybody. And it's really just a gamble on which one's going to win. Huh. So there was a player that was a four in that tournament that broke and ran four racks in a row. Ooh. Not one of the pros, not yeah, one of the pro yeah. female players. It was an unknown, no name, somebody that 
broke and ran four racks in a row. Wow, that's crazy. On like a six. Wow. The guy, they shook hands. They flipped coin to see who broke first, dude broke, and the other guy never got up out of his chair. Oh my goodness. You were talking about that, huh? Yeah. Somebody else told me about it. But, um, but I think that's the biggest reason why there's so much money in that tournament, though, is because there's so many players that could win. But then you have a lot of players like me who are realistically it's putting in money into it for no reason. You, had fun. you played two pros. Oh, I had a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Well, I nothing. Got Rodney Morris's yeah. phone number and stuff, too. <laughs> so oh, I can goodness. deal with it. <laughs> yeah, Lizzie Lovely didn't start as a six plus one. Liz, I'm just telling you what I was told. Oh. What did they start as? What's a one seven? One minus seven. So you're an eight? What? I am confused. I don't know what to say. Well, I guess they shit weird, Chad. <laughs> Liz Lovely, I thought, started as a six. I thought the first tournament that she went there, she was a six. Oh, win-loss record. Oh. I thought you were talking about your handicap. You've like, you lost win? seven and won one. Wow. I think I, the first one I went to, I think I won two and lost two. I got to play more in the first one I went to, though. I thought you went one and two. Maybe I went one and two in the first one. I don't remember. Might have. I don't know. I thought I went two and two. Though. Jonathan would probably remember. Yeah, Jonathan you guys would probably remember. You guys go on a lot of little cool trips together. I think it's funny. You know, I haven't seen him in a long time. He got a girlfriend. I haven't seen him. What? Was I not supposed to say that? I don't think so. Oh, never mind. I don't know. How do I know? Oh, he's pulling away. New, new lead. Three, Three games ahead now. So me and Chad have to play play even. <laughs> you have to play even. Yeah, we play even. I also had to play like even with like Wesley. Mm. Two and two and out. Lost win. Lost. Sorry, went one six. Oh, whoa, whoa. Nicole was a five. Monica started as a five, and Brittany started as a five. Okay. What did April start as? Did April start as a 5 2? I wonder how do they even calculate that kind of stuff? No, but I know their their cow cut us sell for quite a bit. Like they mm -hmm. normally sell for a few grand a piece. And yeah. Kramer, you, you were there making uh, bets on the cow cut, weren't you? Kramer, you got in the money, didn't you? If I remember correctly. How many people usually go to those tournaments? They had 370, I think, this tournament. 300? Yeah. It went into Monday morning, I think. Yeah. That's what, um, when I called you at like 2 p.m., you were like, oh, the cut, cut is still going on from like 9 a.m. Like, Holy crap. Yeah, that cow cut was really long. That was a long, long cow cut. I mean, 300. I feel like you got to get somebody who is, um, one of those metal guys. What's it called? The he bears? had twenty fifth. What'd you what'd you make for getting twenty fifth? Get one of those what things? Kramer is the Calcutta King. Hey, there was a lot of people there playing the Calcutta. There was gr groups. There was like several people that were there and coming in groups that all put their money together to play the Calcutta game. Holy yeah. Wow, twenty hundred. All right, Thomas, we'll see you later. Let later. Know how it goes. Give us score updates if you can. To um, 2800 bucks for 25th place. That's insane. Yeah. That's good. Um, the, the cattle guys that do the auction. An auctioneer. Oh, an auctioneer. Sorry. Been watching Yellowstone. I don't know if you've heard. Ranchers. Yeah. I really like Is anybody else watching Yellowstone? You want to talk about it? You want to talk about it? John hasn't seen it. You want to talk about it with him. Oh, he almost made that. That would have been a good hit. It was almost a really good shot. Slow down. 
Josh Filler played Tony Chohan in one pocket, though. Yeah. I think about that for a minute. I don't know. Is uh, Tony giving weight in that, or are they playing straight? That Filler's really good one pocket mm-hmm. player, though. You know, I wonder if it's getting a little humid in here. I haven't heard that thing go on. Nah. Uh, when it's colder outside, normally the humidity kicks down. Yeah. Okay, you I want to turn the turbo on the heater, though. We've got a heater down here. I'll leave it on. Mm-hmm. You want me to turn it? No, no, no. I was saying for the room. Oh. Yeah, all right. I'll let you know, Kramer. Later, buddy. What's going on in the room? Uh, he and I might play some in the evening. What? Yeah. How long are you taking tomorrow off, my guy? But it's off. Dude, the turbo's already off. Oh, is it? Yeah, we need the fan to circulate the air. That's uh, not going very hard. I normally turn it up a fair bit, so it pushes out a little warmer here, though. Can you turn it up a little? Oh, yeah. Turn it up to uh, 80. Turn it up to 100. Dad, you're going to have to bring your own personal space heater. I'm 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 serious because the the airflow is just not super great, and then the draft comes in sometimes. Yeah, we get tall ceilings, and then we just don't have like something that really pushes the airflow. Um, and then like Actually, we need off. to we really need to clean the filters on that thing. Oh shoot! Yeah. <laughs> that's a good shot. Mr. William Shepard in the house. Ooh, that's where we just ran the first rack. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm gonna do a shout out real quick. Thanks, William Shepard, Jacob Pulse, Don Ferris, and Anson. You, Anson, is also in the house. What up? Thanks for the likes and the follows and the shares and the subscribes. The TV show Road Player ruined the meme. Which TV show is that? I don't think I've ever seen that. Was that the reality TV show about the pool players? No, I don't think so. Oh my gosh. Sounds more like a car show. Oh, Chad. You should have come and played when we did not have any AC. Um, Tony shot off the break and ran <laughs> and Philly ran. Chris Kirk and I think Chris Crosby came to play when we had no AC in the middle of July, in the middle of the afternoon. It yeah, was, was a bad idea. They were sweaty. They were sweating. They, That's why we installed the AC. Literally. And we had to, those AC units are not cheap. <laughs> no. We had to search for it. Oh my God, search it for that thing. No. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. I'm really surprised. They're uh, having some struggles with the Did nine ball. The last few balls? The last couple balls. Yeah. Dang. Oh, man. But both of them are. Oh, man. Like, reaching that far across the table? I could never. Well, for I have a short control. people. We are midgets. Midgets. Yes, we are shorter. I'm I'm a brick girl. Anytime I can use a bridge. Oh. Yeah, baby. Is Kristen McMinn out here or Madeline? It's a little late for little ones, but we ask we started asking players to submit their player photos and give us a little bit of information about themselves, like what their skill level is, what their home bar is. And then we're also asking for a shout out. And so these two dudes, they're giving a shout out to their favorite ladies, a wife, Kristen McMinn and Madeline, Robert's daughter. So thanks guys for being such awesome ladies in these guys' lives. You guys are getting a shout out today. If you play on stream, you're going to shout out to me. <laughs> yeah, give me a shout out. Not pirate, right? Yeah, I probably shouldn't be a six plus one. I give a shout out to pirate too. And my mom. Oh, yeah. No, no. Big fan. Big. You know, she doesn't come on here fan. anymore. No, she doesn't. But she likes our posts. Yep, she likes the posts. She likes our posts. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be a 6 plus 1 in that tournament. I mean, I went 2 and 2 the first time, so that's not terrible as a 6 plus 1, I guess. Whatever. Um, that's not I good. just think of it as a challenge. I don't think of it as a downfall, though, you know? If I'm a, if I win as a six plus one, then you know I really earned it. I mean, honestly, you got to play some really cool people too. Yeah. 
And I've been playing late, a lot better lately than I was like a few months ago. My Maybe. sleep schedule is back to normal. <laughs> back to normal, aka I sleep for 30 minutes and then I'm wide awake. Uh, it's probably five hours. Five hours and I'm wide awake. Which is yes. weird. I haven't done this in a while. So, um, this might be but like my ex boyfriend used to sleep like so much. Like, they called him the panda because he would sleep so much. And then, like, after that happened, when we started dating, and then John is like that, like four hours, five hours, and he's like, where'd he go? Oh, that was really confusing at first. Like, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it was really confusing. But yeah, you've been sleeping a lot lately, but you've also been a little sick. So I think that now maybe you're good. Yeah. Yeah, I was having it's some, uh, a little bit more sick lately. Practice for Jeff. I could build my own nine foot table. And good luck with that piece of slate, man. You know, dig that bitch out of the ground. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a serious question. What what is the slate? What is it? Uh, it's a piece of rock that comes out of a mountain. Really? Yeah, and they cut it to size. So like the table I used to have was a one piece slate, so they cut the entire one piece out. This one's a three piece. Holy crap, that must be heavy. Oh god, it was so heavy. Somebody dropped it. Somebody bought it. The person that bought it from me, like we were taking the table apart to put it on his trailer, and I, and he was holding it, and he just dropped it. I was like, oh, mm. you're kidding me. John, hibernate. Uh, he paid me for it. And, but then I had to clean it up, and cleaning it up and taking it to the dump cost me probably like 100 bucks. That's like, yeah. You could have probably sold it to, you lived in Portland, right? Yeah. You could have sold it to an artist. Been like, oh, Broken material. slate. We need materials. Wing, wing, wing. I like when the ball rolls around like that. Why are you watching? I'm watching Bigfoot. Yeah, well, they were talking watching. about a Bigfoot Derby. Yeah, the 10 foot table. It's a ridiculous table. 10 foot table? It's a 10 foot table. Holy crap. Now you should see the. Have you saw the snooker table that's at a. Um, Monster yeah. Yeah, I've seen it. That's a table. It's also like really tall. Like it's higher higher up off the ground. Oh yeah. yeah. The pockets are pretty small. The balls are small too. Really? A little bit. You gotta be a little bit more accurate. Snooker. But I think there's like a little bit less variations with those balls. Horse versus Deluna about to start. And there's a lot, there's a lot of matches going on. Dang. I guess that a uh, Joe Rogan shout out to the pool community. <laughs> He fired everybody up to start their own live streams. Um, Randy just posted something about something about Joe Rogan and pool, but not the um podcast. I tried to share it, but I forgot to finish sharing it. I'm not gonna lie. What was it? Hey, Randy, if you can share that to the road player group, that'd be awesome. I don't know. I don't remember what it was, but I was like, oh, and I meant to share, it, but I forgot. Ooh. So, tiny AOD. Sounds like a man workout to me if I've ever had one. Turtle stew is good. Turtle stew? That makes me sad. Oh no! Okay, serious question. Turtles don't have bones then? On the inside? Yeah, turtle bones, I think. Oh. I was thinking of an exoskeleton. I was just like not thinking of armor. Blob. I don't know, John. I was thinking of like how a snail is inside the shell. That was a good shot. I'll just leave it. Thanks, Leanne. For the like. Uh oh, okay. If he can get a million a million Bro, if he he's goes if he goes on food. the JRE podcast, he's gonna get a lot of followers just from going on there. And I know he's had like that. He's had a channel for a while. I don't think it's any good, but I don't think he really puts much on there. Yeah, it's a lot of work to put out content. Like. Well, the, yeah, no, that's like the only real like social media person that ever really did anything with pool was just uh, in Raleigh, Raleigh, oh, Raleigh Williams, Raleigh, yeah, Raleigh Williams. I was I the only dude that did it. YouTube video, and I was like. Why does this guy look so familiar? Like, I know this guy. <laughs> it was funny. They gave him, like, pool player, like, some kind of, like, pool player award. What? Yeah, they gave him, like, a pool player award, and then he just, like, stopped playing pool altogether. <laughs> yeah, as soon as COVID happened, he just disappeared. 
Kong. Well, I think he was based out of New York. Yeah, yeah, and they were they were locked down. Yeah, locked down. Boom. You know, we were all that editing and stuff. That was expensive. And I think he has somebody that does all that for him. Because it's not it's it's expensive, but it's also time intensive. Oh yeah. There we go. That's a good shot. Except now he can't see the six. And he's like nearly straight on with the six. We have had some really good matches today. Like neck and neck. Going back yeah, and until, forth. Back and forth. Until Devin had that last uh, set of nine ball. <laughs> yeah. I didn't quite get where he wanted to go. I think that uh, pool players kind of have to treat it the same way bodybuilders do, though, for social media, like a lot of the professional ones. Oh, really? I think they should, because bodybuilding is, the only, the only reason bodybuilding is this big is it's just because how much content the bodybuilders share on uh, social media nowadays. You have to be a content creator. Like, that is, that is how you do things. Yeah. And they make a lot, well, they, a lot of those guys have uh, people that do it for them. The organizations actually hire the social media people for them. Imagine if you had a social media freak on your team. Mm, we could mm. hire one. Actually, actually, I did talk. I need to send that email. The lady I volunteer with, uh, her daughter's doing marketing. So yeah, we we talked about that yesterday. That was last week. Oh, it was yesterday. It feels like last week. It was a long time ago. Long time ago. Is that really yesterday? I think so, I believe. It was, uh, it might have been last week. I would say it was last week. Okay. But yeah, I think like the organization itself has like a social media manager, and that social media manager helps all the bodybuilders keep track of all their social media stuff. So they'll do a photo shoot, and they send all the photos to them, so then the social media manager does everything for them. Yep. Um, Probably helps too, since they get to do all this type of material just over and over and over. Really pretty. Now a couple of them have private, like of their own shit that they do. Yeah. But, yeah. It's a lot of work, and it takes a lot of organization to keep track of all that stuff. Well, I can imagine. I mean, even just for our stuff, for that, like, oh man. I think if that's your job, though, doing it like eight hours a day, I think you'd get pretty. Pretty good at it, you know. Mm -hmm. They don't really do like a lot of videos and stuff. They mostly stay on Instagram and stuff. I feel like for pool, you have to kind of do stuff on. Uh, oh yeah, like if, and shit. No, if we were doing like evergreen kind of content, like we're just posting about a pool table, like we can make a bunch of full content, no big deal. Nope. But since we're posting okay. about, getting it. Got it. That was a, that was a hold your breath kind of shot. Is it gonna go? Is it gonna I go? Think it, I think it was meant to be kind of like a two way shot. But um, but since we do like live events and we're kind of working, since we do live events and it's like upcoming and it's always changing. Like if we had the same player every single time, it'd be completely different. You know. Yeah, I think and... I think commentating does help a lot. Oh, we at twenty, so we're gonna take a break really quick. Take a break. Hit up some commercials, and uh, we'll be right back with you guys. Tiny AOD, I would love to hear from you about that commercials. It no. We set up hot keys. Bye. We set up hot keys, but. It's time to let your friends know you play for real. Salado is now awarding monthly cash and prizes to players around the world. 
All you need to do is download the app with your friends and start battling. Playing pool has never been more fun. Add real pressure to your everyday play with Salado. Any matches played, eight ball, nine ball, or 10 ball will count toward your monthly ranking. And if you want, you can even choose to submit your match results to Fargo Rain. Want to fill in the gaps between leagues and tournaments and make it count for something? Salado has your back. Pool deserves more people like you. You deserve more pool in your life. Download Salado now and begin the next chapter in your ability. It's time to let your friends know you play for real. Salado is now awarding monthly cash and prizes to players around the world. All you need to do is download the app with your friends and start battling. Playing pool has never been more fun. Add real pressure to your everyday play with Salado. Any matches played, eight ball, nine ball, or 10 ball will count toward your monthly ranking. And if you want, you can even choose to submit your match results to Fargo Rain. Want to fill in the gaps between leagues and tournaments and make it count for something? Salado has your back. Pool deserves more people like you. You deserve more pool in your life. Download Salado now and begin the next chapter in your ability. It's time to let your friends know you play for real. Salado is now awarding monthly cash and prizes to players around the world. All you need to do is download the app with your friends and start battling. Playing pool has never been more fun. Add real pressure to your everyday play with Salado. Any matches played, eight ball, nine ball, or 10 ball will count toward your monthly ranking. And if you want, you can even choose to submit your match results to Fargo Rain. Want to fill in the gaps between leagues and tournaments and make it count for something? Salado has your back. Pool deserves more people like you. You deserve more pool in your life. Download Salado now and begin the next chapter in your ability. It's time to let your friends know you play for real. Salado is now awarding monthly cash and prizes to players around the world. All you need to do is download the app with your friends and start battling. Playing pool has never been more fun. Add real pressure to your everyday play with Salado. Any matches played, eight ball, nine ball, or 10 ball will count toward your monthly ranking. And if you want, you can even choose to submit your match results to Fargo Rain. Want to fill in the gaps between leagues and tournaments and make it count for something? Salado has your back. Pool deserves more people like you. You deserve more pool in your life. Download Salado now and begin the next chapter in your ability.
It's time to let your friends know you play for real. Salado is now awarding monthly cash and prizes to players around the world. All you need to do is download the app with your friends and start battling. Playing pool has never been more fun. Add real pressure to your everyday play with Salado. Any matches played, eight ball, nine ball, or 10 ball will count toward your monthly ranking. And if you want, you can even choose to submit your match results to Fargo Rain. Want to fill in the gaps between leagues and tournaments and make it count for something? Salado has your back. Pool deserves more people like you. You deserve more pool in your life. Download Salado now and begin the next chapter in your ability. It's time to let your friends know you play for real. Salado is now awarding monthly cash and prizes to players around the world. All you need to do is download the app with your friends and start battling. Playing pool has never been more fun. Add real pressure to your everyday play with Salado. Any matches played, eight ball, nine ball, or 10 ball will count toward your monthly ranking. And if you want, you can even choose to submit your match results to Fargo Rain. Want to fill in the gaps between leagues and tournaments and make it count for something? Salado has your back. Pool deserves more people like you. You deserve more pool in your life. Download Salado now and begin the next chapter in your ability. It's time to let your friends know you play for real. Salado is now awarding monthly cash and prizes to players around the world. All you need to do is download the app with your friends. There you go. You got your mic off. Welcome Mike back, everybody. Hello, everybody. Okay, Tiny AOD, we are back. Yes. So Fillers up two to zero. Um, tiny AOD. So I did look into that because we put in a lot of time, but we need a thousand followers in order to monetize our account or something like that. On YouTube? Yeah. Uh, so we are not quite there. We're like 200. Um, but yeah, that would be really cool if we were able to. They, they stopped giving as much money as they used to, too, on YouTube, mainly because, um, I think they just offered a ton of money at one point in time on YouTube because they were able to incentivize creators to come to the platform. And then after yeah. the creators came to the platform, they just let it go. <laughs> They're like, nope, no more. We're downsizing this. Because I remember there was a lot of YouTubers that were mad about it. It's going to get safe, too. That was a beautiful hit. <laughs> Yeah, we're gone. I'm just going down some some memories. We're trying to get the word out. We're trying, but I mean, it, it seems honestly, this is what I've realized: it's very yeah. popular in Georgia. The stream that we do is very popular in Georgia. It's crazy to me that we're so physically close to Tennessee and South Carolina. Um, but we our reach is just Georgia state lines. Yeah, really. Georgia state lines. But really, we've only had Georgia players on here. Yeah. So I think we, if we wanted to do that, we'd have to like actually branch out and like invite players from 
farther away. Well, now that it's the new year, Mike might come, and he lives in Alabama. Who's Mike? Um, huh? Mike Kramer? No, no, no. Mike Kramer might though, but Mike Kramer lives uh in Georgia. But oh. uh, uh, what is Mike's last name? I had to look at my phone. I don't know it. Tiny AOD says only fan site. John, you want to tell him about your only fans? Garbage man sixty nine, baby. Yeah. It's not taken yet, and I want to take it. That's the worst only fans name ever. We are on Facebook and YouTube. Those are our two main ones. We're branching out to TikTok, and we're getting Instagram set up. Um, we're getting those set up. Twitter, Twitter I'm not quite ready to branch out that far. Yeah, because not a lot of pool players use Twitter. Twitter Twitter is the place. If you want to get out news on the beat, on the pulse, like Twitter is the place to go. Yeah, but just not a lot of people are on that platform. How do you know? You're not on Twitter? Because I've, I've looked at the platform several times for a pool and I couldn't find it. The Instagram is the spot. Instagram, there's a lot of pool on Instagram. Yeah. But Instagram's attached to Facebook. Um, yeah. TikTok Live. Million. TikTok Live. I would love to do a TikTok Live, um, but you need a thousand followers. Oh, we, got, we got to start making the shorts on the reels. <laughs> Put them on the TikTok. We have a somewhat social media manager. It just takes a lot of damn time. We we're talking. Well, that's what I was saying. I'm gonna talk to the that girl um, and see if she might be interested in doing some social media stuff. For us because it's just a lot of work and we've got something really cool we just need to kind of spread the word and share it and get it out there you know yeah I mean, it's come pretty far like from when we first started we didn't know what the fuck we were doing oh it's we my bad it. sorry about the f-bomb hell we're what the hell we were doing yeah this is a show um, building. right so hell is okay mm-hmm. fuck is not got it are you saying it but like when we first started, we really didn't know what we were doing. So we had it was a very big learning experience uh, from a uh, from us on our side. Yeah, if you want to watch some cringe commentary, definitely go back to like the third third episode. Mm. It was hard. It made it a lot easier though when we finally figured out like all the software and the camera stuff. Streaming became a lot easier at that point. Every for like the first year, every single episode was like, oh my god, oh my. God. How do we set this up? Oh my god. You should okay. remember when like the big streamers do that shit, they have like an entire team. There's like eight people over there streaming their shit. Well they have they have a setup that they set up and they leave it there. They also have this really cool thing called the stream deck, which we should totally get. Yeah, we've looked at getting them. And you just press a button and it opens everything. Wow. Mm-hmm. I can't believe that rolled behind the nine like that. Oh my gosh. That was oof, that hurt. Swift day. Okay. I look at Twitter. I'm looking Twitter. Oops. Oh, my God. Good, though. But is he going to get safe? Oh, eh, I think it's cuttable. You can cut this. That is this good. Got pretty good shape on the knife. I mean, that's pretty good. That's a good hit. Oh, pretty good hit. And it almost got hidden behind me. Do you want to see some really cringy artwork, John? Sure. It was my first illustrator. You can see. That was my first thing I did on Illustrator ever. Nice. Adobe Illustrator. Nice. It, this is ugly. Like, look. So gross. So gross. I thought you did it on paint. but It looks like I did it on paint. I've come a little, I've come a long ways. Tiny AOD says, no, no, ethnic language is cool. By the way, you can use the F word and it's not illegal as long as you don't use it in a sexual manner, according to the FCC and YouTubers TOS. Oh. Right. But is it professional? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. Oh, that was a good break. Um, actually, That's a lot of balls. You're in. Literally a lot of balls. Yeah. If you go to 
if you go in the Marine Corps, it's uh, perfectly fine. Tiny AOD, how do you know so much about um, YouTube stuff? Are you a secret YouTuber that we don't know about? No, oh, he hits granite with sledgehammers all day. I know. Or she. Or yeah. she. It's probably she. She know. hits granite with sledgehammers all day. Or then. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here to ruin your I'm glad that we can criticize these things and get demonetized and get lowered in the queue. Shadow ban. Yes. You're welcome. Yes. That depends on your morality. That was. But somebody did that. Or does it depend on your mortality? Hmm. It's the difference of one letter. <laughs> Wow. That's a good shot. <laughs> Mortality. <gasps> the secret's out. Tiny AOD's a dude. I told you it was a dude. I know. I just wanted to play the game. I knew it was a dude, too. Mm. Hmm. I think he was. He thought he was going to run into the nine. He missed it by just a little bit. It's kind of hard to get in shape off of a shot like that. We got more people watching on YouTube than we do on uh, Facebook today. Yeah, well, Facebook's been being a bull. <laughs> Maybe they kicked us out, finally. They won't, they won't authorize stars for us. They, like, refuse. Even though we meet all the criteria. Oh, they subscribed. Thanks, M. Jinky. Thank you for subscribing. You. Appreciate it. Subscribe. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. That's an old joke. I don't want to break Please. It. There used to be a channel, uh, this is like back in the day, and it's like, it said like, like, share, and subscribe if you have a big dick. <laughs> they have like a whole like thing set up for it. All right. Hey, I'm coming back. But it was on like a nerd, like a YouTube gamer channel, oh. so it was funny. That is funny. That is funny. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I need a respect to them. Okay, John, I just went to your truck. I hadn't ate all day. Hadn't eaten all day. Yeah. And I didn't eat the whole pizza, did I? Well, I don't know. I'm just going to ask you. I went to your truck, and there was like many racetrack bags. Like many racetrack bags. Many racetrack bags. Yeah. Like, They've probably been accumulating in my truck for over like three weeks. <laughs> Dude, I've been doing nothing but driving for the past three weeks. Um... Okay, you can like the video with the thumbs up. You can subscribe with the subscribe. And I don't know if you can actually turn on notifications. And you can party with the drugs. Like that dude that I sent the picture of last night. I am running a little bit. Where are those three options? I'm actually looking right now. Oh, look, here we are. Hello, people. You hit oh. the If you hit the X on live chat, that'll pop up. Oh. Then yeah. you'll have the, the thumbs up on your left, subscribe on your right. Yeah. I think on YouTube, though, we can put a, um, we can put a, a uh, subscribe button up. I don't know how, though. Scubscribe. Scubscribe. Scribby scrabber. Scrubscribe. Oh, thank you, Tiny. I appreciate it. Oh. We're going to invite Tiny to come commentate now. So, Tiny. So, what do you think for our first time having two matches in one day? Oh. I'm being dramatic. I'm a woman. I can be dramatic. You got a good point there. I can't, I can't argue with that. Also, I'm dramatic. Hey, Breaking Bad, PPA, Vegas, what's up? Um, also, you know me, I'm dramatic for fun. I don't ever mean it. It's always doing. Um, honestly, oh, that three ball did not move into a good spot. I do really, I do really enjoy like streaming. Like, I, I love this, I love doing this, so it's fun. The prep work for it was a lot. Like, that's what I normally do. <laughs> No, to do two. 
Oh, to do two. To do three. Yeah, to, yeah. yeah, so like when you're doing prep for, for one, you're just kind of like thinking about one match and getting ready for the next one. But this one was you thinking about two matches and then it was just a lot. And then luckily, really lucky, Randy and Michael came through today and then you were able to come home. So like, I think if I would have been commentating by myself, that would have been all right. Yeah. That would have been too much. Need that three moved into a kind of a bad spot for Eric, unfortunately. There was one eight ball match that we had that went on for eight hours. And for some reason, you weren't here. Or you got called into work or something, and I had to do it by myself. And that was so hard. I got, I got here like halfway between it. I didn't realize it was going to last that long. I remember that match. I don't remember who it was, though. I don't either, but I was just like... It's probably Randy. No. <laughs> no, I really like, and I really love, I love when people come to the table. I just like having people here. Yeah. And like some people dropping by, like, it's just, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, and we'll, we'll set up more cameras and stuff as the stream gets better. Yeah. But you know what? I really enjoyed having a lot of people tuned in for the afternoon. I was really, I thought we were going to have like a dead stream. I thought there was going to be like three people because, you know, everybody works during the day. Yeah. But everybody was able to watch it while they work. I think a lot of people were listening while they work too. So, I don't know. I don't know. It's just fun. It's just and fun. they could not hear my beautiful little voice. No, but we saw your beautiful comments and that was quite enough to raise me. You can tell. I'm just playing, John. I'm just playing. Getting. I think staying on the two for the shots being hard. Um, um, was that my? I can't really tell if he's trying to make that or go for a save. I think he was trying to go for a save. Hmm. Breaking Bad APA Vegas. Who is, do you know who that is? Is this a person? There's a, there's a Breaking person? Bad team, but I can't remember who's on it. Breaking Bad, who are you? Also, uh, Tiny AOD, thank you for that prompt. Um, by this time, I do get a little tired and I forget to kind of be like really explicit about every single little thing like that. Whereas when I first started out, I'm like super fresh. Oh, he thinned it too much. Dang. Yeah, I like I like shooting this in the side pocket, putting like a lot of like top outside on it. Should spin back around like three rails for the full. What really, John? Yeah. That had no that had no uh, outside on it. It yeah. would have. Oh, I see. Yeah, so you if you had outside on it, it would have came with basically like a three rail kick shot. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's Jim. Hey, Jim. What's oh, up, buddy? Jim. <laughs> You sneaky man. I've been wondering. Hey, Jim, we get to play even now in uh, a ball. We're both sixes. How fun. Sounds really excited about that. <laughs> I know, but I, I, I didn't even get to use it. Like, I left. I've <laughs> been at seven for a while. Oh. I didn't have a bad record as a seven, so I'm kind of, like, confused. They put me onto a six, but I'm not going to complain about it. Everybody else is, though. I know. Mm -hmm. And if you're in the MVP tournament, good luck like to you. I will not be there. For following, share. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. APA. For your friends. You can use it. It's a lot of fun. For who? Oh, did you not do it earlier? Yeah. I thought you. Oh. Did you set it up for the earlier match? <laughs> yeah, we'll get it. That was, um. Is it with eight ball and nine ball? I don't know how to put that in. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. That would be almost impossible to put in there. Six on in what league and on what planet, John? APA. He's talking about APA. On Earth. APA on Earth. Premium. John, if Elon Musk invited you to go to Mars, would you go to Mars? 
This is a very difficult situation. <laughs> Probably, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, I figured you would say yes. Oh, and A ball. They made me a six and A ball. Oh. I play a lot of safeties in A-Ball, though. That's the weird part. Play Six. safe, then um, run out. Always have innings if you play safe and run out. <laughs> uh, Devin is telling me he won a match the other day. Like, straight up, 12 innings. One game was seven innings. Pretty good. Yeah, he was like, I was playing freaking good. Except for that one game. Well, I mean, but like, come on, man. When are you going to start playing again? We all want to know. Everybody in the chat wants to know when Nisi's going to start playing again. John, okay. We've already said that you got better form than any player out here. You just need to learn how to see the angles. How to play. Yeah, I know. I don't know, man. It just takes up so much time. I really, like, I really don't like how long it takes. I don't like spending my nights at a bar. I, I don't like it. I don't like Who it. spends their nights at bars? You do. <laughs> There's like a 5 a.m. pool club, maybe. For the early birds. Early bird pool or something. Ooh, we can look at an exercise program. Early bird pool and fitness. No, you can look it up, Jim. They actually did make me a six. Really? Yeah. I'm playing better right now, too. It's kind of funny. They <laughs> picked <laughs> me a six when I stopped to be having my slump. God, I was going through a slump there for a minute, though. I was going through a bad slump. After Why we, did you go a slump? I think it was because we went to Vegas, and then after I got back to Vegas, I just couldn't Vegas play. It was like over a year ago. I know. I just couldn't play for a while. Really? You've been in a slump since then? Yeah. Dude, I think you're finally getting healthy now. Like and something's clicking into place with you. I'm actually sleeping normal. Yeah. It's a big difference between sleeping normal and not sleeping normal, by the way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, this is going to be kind of interesting. Experiment A. I think you have to kind of like draw this back. But unless you want to play it off the rail. But I, I think if you play it off the rail, you're going to end up hitting the nine. So, like, you have to draw this back. That's a pretty far draw shot for that far away. Is that a problem if you hit the nine? Uh, if, it, if you hit it, yeah. So, if you hit the nine with the cue ball, your uh, cue ball is going to be down on the other end of the table away from the four. So, it's not about the three on this shot. It's all about the four. And he drew it pretty good. Is that what he drew? Yeah, he drew it back. Oh, wow. I had the draw shot. He cheated the pocket a little bit to the right. Kim South. Kim South said we know a place. That's actually really cool. Um, John used to work night shift and he said that there was a bar that was open at eight AM, right? Specifically for night shift workers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they they used to, but we had we had uh I wanna say six hundred employees that worked at night with me. Oh wow. Yeah. So that's like that's quite a three hundred employees, yeah. So they were the only bar that was open, and they also had pancakes. So we would eat pancakes and have alcohol wow, at 8 a.m. when we got to work. That sounds like a dream walk. Don't get drunk before you go to the Waffle House. Just go to Waffle House and get drunk, and then pass out and have some drinks. There you go. No place in Chattanooga. The league starts at midnight, second a.m. shift for second shift players. What's second, what second shift? I guess shifts like the swing shift. It's like four yeah, to yeah, four to twelve something. Four to four, four to twelve, four to eight. You know what? So, so. Um, in the San Francisco Bay Area, there is a museum called the Rosie the Riveter Museum, and it's all about women of World War II and what they did to contribute to the war. It's actually very interesting. Um, but I learned all about Oakland, which I know nobody here cares about because they're not from California. Whatever. Oakland. Oakland. Um. Oakland is near San Francisco. It's like across the bay. 
um, but they used to build a ship, an entire ship, every three days and deploy it. Like, Damn. Start to finish, they would I think build I've it. I've seen that thing before. Yes. And every three days they would have it, but they had people working around the clock, and they would literally rent beds by the hour. So, like, there were so many, such an influx of workers and such a limited amount of space that they literally rent the bed. You would sleep in it, get up, so it would change the sheet, somebody else would go in. And it was round. Well, they do that in airports now. Really? Yeah, you can rent a bed by the hour at an airport now. That's it's called the, uh, it's like the Minute Hotel or something like that. That sounds actually really awesome. Yeah, it's not that bad. I don't know if I should be a 7 7, by the way, Jim. It might be kind of stretching it. I'm definitely a 5'5". Five five. It really bothers me that 8 ball is boring. Oh my gosh, a 7. Why not 8? Yeah, there's a wide range of 7s. <laughs> Evan O'Neill, long time no see. Oh, whoa, whoa. Frosty? See this now? What's up, Frosty? Mm hmm. Maybe yeah, your four balls blocking your bank right here. It's uh, and kind of a hard you. safe. Probably not, not to make the nine. Oh, <laughs> hey, what's up, Kevin? Kevin late, 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 late. I'm just kidding. Kevin came to watch in person um, the stream earlier today. That was fun. Alright, you know what's something else I've realized about the uh, most of the pool streams? Most of the pool streams are actually in bars and they already have a bunch of likes and followers just because people liked and followed the bar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I almost saw like ours is kind of weird because we, we didn't have like a real physical location. On yeah. the hill. On the hill. We do now. 18 hours. Yeah. Right. Rose Last time that uh, Robert will break for the night. You want to put on the pole? Let me close it up. Sorry. I asked and then I just reached for it. And pole. Da -da -da. We will see. 27 votes. Oh, another thing I didn't know that they had in New Orleans, they have fish bowls there. Mm -hmm. You can buy the fish bowls. You can also buy like those tall like daiquiris and everything like that there too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Was it busy last night? It was pretty busy. It was a very busy street. I I left, went to my hotel room, and came back, and the streets were just covered in trash though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard it's pretty dirty. I heard it's kind of stinky too. Did you get the beignet? I did not. Oh. I was too busy. Too busy. Yeah, I had to wake up and go to work. Too busy for the breakfast. Yeah. Everybody eating the breakfast. I told you what I ate today. You know I didn't eat a beignet. Dude, that was that was last week. That was yesterday. That was you today. You got Chick Fil A without me. I can, but I don't have a full Chick Fil A. I haven't had Chick Fil A in like literally years. I could get a Chick Fil A. It's not good for me. It really makes me pass out. It's too heavy for my system. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of yeah. calories. It's a lot of bread. I really love the chicken wings. Really love them. So good. You know what? Actually comparable, not gonna lie, the Wendy's honey breakfast sandwich. That one is just good. Oh, that was a great shot. Oh, wow. Very nice. Chad said, I'm a week seven. We compared to who? Yeah, we. What do you mean, we? Hey, are you playing against Josie? By the way, Chad. No, he's playing against Bradley Turner. Oh, you're playing against Tony. 
Is it going? Almost looked like it was tracking. It looked like it was going mm, for a minute. So close, so close. Dirty town. For Josie, okay. Oh, uh, I can't give you a date, man. Sorry, yeah. we don't know. Uh... We're gonna have to wait until we open it up. Yep. We made a mistake. Not again. I did that again. Yeah, we can't hold dates for anybody anymore. It's got to be all done through the app. Unfortunately, sorry, my friend. RT seven one four six. Who's that? We just try to. We just want to try to make it fair for everybody. Yeah. Yes, and we'll put um, we'll put a notification up for sure. It's not a bad spot for the three ball to be. You could play a pretty gnarly safe right here. Just get the cue ball behind the A and push the three of the other side of the table. How would you do that? Um, hit it on the right side of the three a little bit with a little bit of top. So it just goes into the rail and comes right back towards the eight. Kind of. He was a, he was a little too far on the uh, oh, no. outside of the three ball. Okay. Yeah. Hello, Tall Thomas. Why didn't you say so? Um, no. Thomas the train? Uh, um, let's see, Chad is asking, do we have the same release date? And um, I think we try to get it out the last week of the month. So, like, the last week of January we'll put out for March. The last week of February we'll put out for April. That's what we try to do. Um, but we'll we'll put out a warning. Like, how about we try this? We're gonna announce tomorrow at this time. Be ready. Something. Else. That way, everybody gets the notification and can all make make plans. Hey Kim, if you want to send me a message on uh, Facebook, um, I could talk with him on the phone before I let him come on and commentate. But we'd be down for that. Yeah. I just want to talk with him a little bit just to get the vibe. Make sure there's. Good vibes there, you know. Because yeah. we we've realized this even like commentating is a little harder than <laughs> it is. It is hard. I think it's hard too because like I was saying, you have to watch for comments, you have to watch for this, you have to do the scorekeeping, and you have to like change the scenes. Yeah, you have to change the scenes. <laughs> but there's a lot going on. It's fun though once you kind of get into a group and you have a fun commentator that you're like, commentating with. All right, Peter. I'm always rooting for the whoever's Your behind. Dog. I don't care who it is. I'm always rooting for him. But yeah, I think commentating is fun. Also, if you like to talk, if you like pool, be commentating. Yep. Cool. Jimmy was also saying that he wanted to come commentate too. Yeah. yeah, you were there, right? I don't think it was there. Oh, That's okay. how many said that. Oh, that was Randy. Yeah, just gotta hit me up. Well, uh, we'll work something out. See what happens. I'm pretty picky with uh, people um, to commentate. To commentate, just because it's a kind of a brand thing. So yeah, we just want to make sure that people can, like be careful about pool. I really wish we would put that hung up on the wall again. No one pull about pool. You got good vibes. You're fun to talk with. You can go with the flow. It's there's a lot of improv that happens here. You never know what we're gonna talk about. Yeah, I think that's part of commentating though. You really have to talk about random things to some degree. Uh, kind of, yeah. I mean, it, honestly, it depends on your style. You know, some people are not that way. Yeah, I just think that if uh, you talk about just pool the entire time, it kind of it's a little boring. Like, yeah, like you kind of put yourself in the flow a little bit. Yes, I am. It's not your advice. It is my advice. Don't remember. I know you don't remember. Because he never said it. <laughs> this could be bad right here. We're if, not fighting. If he We're draws playing. this back, he might be able to make a combo in the night. I've noticed. It's going to go. Huh? I don't think the combo's going to go. I don't know. We'll see. I think it will. Let's see what I don't 
for the jump. Is that? Oh, almost oh, went off the cue ball into the side. Oh, that would have been a crazy shot. Turn of events. Flat <laughs> twist. Yeah, flat twist. And flipped it. Every time I shoot, it feels like a flat twist. Okay, the cue ball's going to go here, 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 here. Oh, it just stayed in the right spot. Okay. Move in. No. Uh, yeah, I think he's going to give him a shot for the side here. Oh, man. It went a little too far. Yeah. I think he was trying to stick it to the six. Mm-hmm. Just hit a little hard. Might be a little bit of tiredness kind of kicking in. They've been playing for over four hours now. Really? Yep. Oh, my gosh. And plus they warmed up. <laughs> I think I, I played at a bar the other night for about eight hours. And I was not tired at all. <laughs> I was feeling pretty good. Because you're addicted to pool. Heavier toll when you're playing on stream. What do they say about toll trolls? Let me see. No, I'm not singing the song because we are trying to get kids <laughs> in the pool. If you guys watch It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, then you know the song that I'm talking about. You gotta pay the troll toll. Can anyone in the chat finish it? <laughs> Just curious. I'm also curious who's who's seen it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Let's give him another combo. I think this is gonna be a carom. <clears throat> come rent your mm -hmm. table for some dude, you can come use the table for free. And you're driving like what, like five hours to get here? <laughs> That far away? Nah, it lives like an hour. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is, it, is it going? Is it going? Let's see. Let's see. Good shot. Good shape. I'll get you back for the six. That's only about an hour. That's not bad. Oh, he did not want to hit that ball. He really wanted to steer away from hitting that ball, but he's still got a pretty good shape on the six. That's a lot of games. That's a lot of games. Oh. They have Robert a three ball out, and they're all kind of in front of the pocket. No way. Wow. Oh. That might have been a pocket gremlin. <laughs> oh, Robert knows how to build the suspense. <laughs> Maybe it's Robert. Every time he comes on stream, they're real close. Maybe it's him. Maybe he's making the drop. I think since I have a Monday and Tuesday off this week. I no, think... we're not doing anything on Monday. No, no, no. Why not Monday? Because we're taking pictures. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, if yeah. I have Tuesday off, I might hit up Randy Morris and see if I can go play, play with him some. Rodney, <laughs> Rodney Morris. All right, 2024. I also have it that we need to add the race on here. Like race to... Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, do that stream element. I'm not redoing it. I'll redo it. You gotta redo it. You know, now I'm looking at our background. It kind of looks like something from Resident Evil. I hope that's the style that you wanted. Like, kind of grungy, kind of deathy, kind of... Resident evil-y. Resident evil <laughs> Residentially evil, I don't know. Really, I, th I think I we should have a... Like you know what we should have? We should have a pool meme contest. Who can make the best meme for pool? I love it. We should give out, like, Let's something from Salado or something we have. Let's, Let's get a break. I think Robert had one earlier where he made, like, four. We'll have to find it. Oh, this is a good 
play a little spot here too. The four balls are looking a little bit of a rough spot. Yeah, that's all we should have though. We should have a contest. Best pool meme. Let's do that next week. Yes. Okay, there's one. That's a little bit of an awkward shot. You really have to put a lot of like How's he gonna top. Top inside. Like that. Oh. I like with um this stream specifically, we kind of say like this is what I would do, and then you see it being done. Like exactly. <laughs> I might have put a little bit more top inside on it. To Maybe you try to get farther. to a different side of it. Yeah, I think I probably would have shot it down to the opposite corner. But it's hard to tell when you're out on the table, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. the nine. Wow, good shot. 21-24. Oh my god. So exciting. We're definitely getting a race pizza to celebrate. Oh, like you're getting a race pizza to celebrate. I'm so hungry. I had eggs and profefe and tea and chili. Oh, if you guys ever want to send us a gift, coffee. Send us coffee. <laughs> I don't want racetrack pizza. You want racetrack pizza. I, oh. I grabbed it just so I could make it home. Tom uh, loves coffee and tequila. Steak. And oh yeah, so you got some good tequila. Mm, send it my way. Oh, very said he thought on that. It looked like he had a very tight rack on that. Doesn't look like he's got a good shot on the one. He might actually. He might be able to put us off the rail, but the two's are kind of in a weird spot to make that shot and mm -hmm. be able to get the shape of the two. Yeah, I was looking at the stream decks the other day though. The stream decks are like two hundred bucks. Yeah. It's ridiculous. It's not even like that great a software. No, you can you can just get a keyboard and like actually I feel like Aitzen Aitzen does something like that, I thought. And then like re it just reprogram reprogram the keyboard. Yeah. Oh, we could probably look it up on YouTube. Search some Literally some cool. teenagers probably done that for us. <laughs> oh, he did not mean to catch that much of the ball. He's kind of still sitting in a good spot, though, weirdly enough. But the two sitting in a spot to where you can shoot the one in the opposite corner right here, and you can probably hold the cue ball pretty easy. But this one ball is a very hard shot. Unless you want to play the safe. And you went for the safe. And Chase looks pretty good. What can he oh, do? he can still see it. He can still see it, but what can he do with it? Um, I don't know. If you want to be a want to be a hero, you might be able to shoot the one end of the nine and make the nine ball. Looks like he just kind of went. Oh, made seven. Looks like he just smacked it. Yeah, it looks like he just went for the got all that. I guess it worked. Will Perkins shot. You could see after he shot, he tried to kind of curve it a little bit, like he knew, oh, no, that wasn't quite right. Yeah, he didn't take his time on that shot. That's when you can tell somebody's, like, not really comfortable with the shot a lot of times. It's like, they had normally have, like, a speed, and then they, like, speed up mm -hmm. for no real reason. Like, you'll see people speed up when they're, like, on a row of making, like, a lot of balls. But when people speed up for no reason, it's normally because they're a little uncomfortable on whatever they're doing. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. He says he don't know how to rap. Well, I am really good at it. He just practices breaking and running. Oh no. Oh, it's okay. Go team, go team, go.
Who are you rooting for? Who player? <laughs> just just rooting like underdog. Both of these, both of these matches today, I'm just like, I just want everyone to win. I, I can't pick a side. I want everyone to win. Oh, looks like you got safe. Kind of safe. Well, you could probably cut this. Yeah. I don't know if you scratch it or not. Rest. As he wants them. Yeah. Told you. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Stack is way too big. You need to cut it. You need to cut it. Hey, no one, no one answered. No one knew where that uh the toll troll came from. Uh, Nobody knows about that toll troll. To get that what? Let's see. Why are you no no? Because I have my own feelings, John. That's why I say, oh no no no, oh no no no. Because because I'm always I'm rooting for everybody here, I'm rooting for everybody. So I kind of like making the key ball stop on the rail on this one, because then you just kind of like. Squeeze it over just a little. Makes it nice and easy. What does that mean to squeeze it over? Uh, it means I would have shot the A ball in the opposite corner. That's what I was trying to say. But yeah, what does that mean to squeeze it? Uh, it's not a real thing. Yeah. I made that up. I just didn't know how to express the feelings I was having. And express. And express yourself. No, oh, no, what? What? Oh my god. No way. That was like the slowest one ever. Okay. Play continues. 22 to 24. Rack boy I, trophy? I did not see that. I did not. I didn't even see that you could do that. I think that could have been a possibility. Give him a rack boy trophy? Oh, you mean scratching on that ball? Yeah. Yeah, I, don't, I did not expect that. I mean, technically, if Eric miscues, <laughs> then he could get to break again. I think they said no nine on the back right now. Oh. No. Wild, wild nine. Yeah, they just said no, nothing in the bottom two. I think he's making sure he's going to get a really good rack this time. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Not a lot of movement. Oh, Not a lot of balls. Gosh, yeah. That's the thing, though. Using the template, you can normally make that corner ball almost every time. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. That wing ball, yeah. Just goes in. Um, Shonda said that their whole family plays pool. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. They said that they were very competitive. Okay. I'm on the edge of my seat emotionally. Oh, our t-shirt is printed bay. Yeah. Be cool to go get it. Um, Kevin, that's a good question. I thought it was I thought it was up to date. It is not. Once you press sign up to play though, um, whatever's on that form is accurate. So at this exact moment, we've got this. Do we have any dates open? 
What? They're, they're off the floor. No. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. That was the 25th game. That was. <laughs> we need to replay for that one. <laughs> hey. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We appreciate it as always. Um, if you are not following us, go ahead and hit that follow button. And, uh, we'll keep bringing content to you guys as much as we can. And we'll look into some other new things later. Um, stream's obviously growing, so i um, trying our best for you guys. Yeah. And uh, you got anything else? Yeah, join our meme contest this week. We'll yeah. put a post out, and then we'll also announce when we're going to do March dates. Yeah, we'll put a we'll put a post out. We'll have a meme contest, and we'll see if we can get us a wrestle up a prize for the winner of the meme contest, and whoever wants to enter that, I suggest using Meme Generator. That app works really good. Yeah. I really like that app. All right, everybody, have a great night. Awesome.